What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's Fast and Furious in Review. That's right. We are ranking and reviewing every single movie in the Fast and Furious cinematic universe. You thinking about Burt Meg? Wrong show. Burt, 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 Meg, 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 Meg. This is London, baby. Oh, my God. I'm Tim Geddes. That's Nick Scarpino. That's Greg That's Miller. That's Kevin Coelho. We got Andy Cortez with the sh zero sugar Coca-Cola. Is that the same? Yeah, I will comment on the salt you've been eating, you psychopath. It yeah. evens out. Straight it's a balance. Straight I thought about salt. Andy this morning because I stopped off uh, to get my coffee at the Molly Stone. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I should get some Diet Cokes. And then as I went, I saw... The Coke Zeros. Now, yeah. I almost got you, uh, I wasn't sure if you like this or not, but I almost got you the Cherry Coke Oh my Zero. God, I'm a huge fan, Nicholas. Time, one of my favorites. Time. Nick, you came through clutch today. He came in with two grocery bags full of just, just caffeine. sweet caffeine, <laughs> just baby. Caffeine. I opened the fridge today, I was just like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. You Did got you me the sweet one? big baby here. Oh. oh, you gotta love it. On the subreddit, there was a, a topic the other night of like, should we were worried? Should we be worried about the guy's sleep deprivation? And I started to read, but I fell asleep, so I don't know what it said. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they've taken notice out there. Yeah. They have. I don't think I don't think you guys realize that we go hard for like the ten hours that we're here, mm -hmm. and then fall asleep like babies at night, mm -hmm. just knowing that the work. You're not has watching been done. content. Knowing that the work is, I don't watch our content. <laughs> not our God, no, not anything? our content. Watch Just this anything. Garbage. Umbrella Academy, fucking. Ladies great and gentlemen, show. this is kind More of funny. Fast and Furious in review. You can get it every Tuesday <laughs> at 11 a.m. on twitchtv kind of funny games live, or you can watch it later on youtubecom kind of funny. And now, for the very first time, on roosterteeth.com, all of our content is being migrated over there. We're going to be syndicating it all over there. Um, down, right? So yeah, giving you guys options. Whatever Nothing you, changes. You want We're to still do. independent. Don't mm -hmm. worry, it's just it's, another platform to get our content like YouTube I mean, or Bernie, podcast. Bernie and Jeff are our bosses now, though, right? Because Jeff keeps telling me what to do. And I, just I will be dead in the ground before Jeff is my boss. All what right? about Gus? Gus, I respect. Yeah, I'll Gus is different. Gus is the opposite with money. me. I, I respect Jeff. Way I don't more. Think Here's Gus, the thing. I don't think Gus respects me. Here's the thing. He doesn't respect any of us. He I'm a bad he CEO. What if we just tried to poach Gus to be the CEO here? Oh, that's a terrible idea. Okay, you can also get it on podcast services around the globe, including Spotify. In effect. Just search for Kind of Funny Reviews. We'd appreciate all the likes, all the ratings, all the good stuff. Um, you can also go to patreon.com slash kindoffunny to get the show ad-free and to contribute to the show for the haiku in review section that we will do later. Today, we are reviewing Fast and Furious 6, a.k.a. Furious 6, the true title of this damn movie. We're going to get right into it, Andy, with some facts of the Furious. We got it from... No, okay, no. just... <laughs> not, what, not what I expected. A very, a very tempered and muted <laughs> scream. We got information if you're curious. So here's the facts of the furious facts of the furious. There we go. Uh, Universal made Justin Lin change the name of this movie. He wanted to call it Furious Six. Would have been bad. To end so good. The trilogy that he was building there with Fast and Furious, Fast Five, Furious Six. It yeah. would have made a lot of sense. Um, the trailers showed Furious Six for this. Then Universal's like, no, we can't sell a movie called Furious Six. People won't understand what it is. Even though Fast Five was the highest performing movie they've done so far. Yeah. And then, and then, the then later they go on to do Furious Seven, then, which is even more sense. successful. And then they did the spiritual successor, which is Hateful Eight. And you're like, Jesus Christ, anything this can sell. Confusing. This can yeah. just sell. Yeah. So weird. Um, but What was the budget on this one? The budget you on know? The, oh, yeah, of course. I know for every movie that we've ever talked about, Nick. I know he was going to go through that. I was trying to lead him into yeah. it. Oh, oh, how dare you? How dare you? What a great because I have a funny is. joke. Okay, the, bu the budget was $160 million. Do you think that $150 million of that runway? went to the music budget uh, to this? Because mm. it's way fucking it's really better in this. Joke, it's too. fucking awesome. The soundtrack Although, in this. That's five. It's good, but I, but but they got. I think this is really where they start to up the ante. Where they're like, we, oh, we finally got a little bit extra cash. Let's get some like, some let's get some extra people. Let's get Wiz Khalifa in. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, released on May. Because before 7th. it just felt like they were like, hey, Luda, you got a spare hour, right? Can you just like? Well, put Luda does together? the credit song in this right. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, released good. on May 7, 2013, directed once again by Justin Lin. A budget of 160 million, box office of 788 fucking million a. dollars, uh, making it the most successful thus far. But that pretty much just keeps being true. Uh, a runtime of two hours and ten minutes, the exact same runtime as Fast, Fast Five. Five, yeah, uh, with the exception the of the extended edition, edition, version, which is two hours which and eleven I watched minutes. Last time, by accident. Um, very interesting. Uh, but yeah, so Justin Lin. Yeah. Weird. What? Just, Justin Lin uh, wanted to name the movie Furious Six. 
And this is where they had the plans for this trilogy. Justin Lin and Vin Diesel is where they started working together on what this franchise could be. And based on Vin Diesel's love for Dungeons and Dragons, it led to them being like, we want to incorporate more of a mythology into the series. And that's why things start getting as like um, retcon -y and like, mm -hmm. let's give backstory to everything and make everything connect as it did, which I think was a fantastic move. Um, as always, avoid future spoilers for the movies, uh, even though we're running out of movies to spoil at this point. We're almost it's, at the end of our ride and travel journey here. Well, luckily they're going to just keep making more of these bad boys. <laughs> now, they're, now they're doing all the spinoffs and stuff like that, which is great. But, man, I got to tell you, I love this fucking movie. I fucking love this I movie. I love this movie. I, love I, th this movie I think so to much. me, this movie, and, you know, I, I realized that I had some somewhat harsh criticisms of <laughs> Fast Five last week. <laughs> well, you, and I had a good, you and I had a good heart to heart. We had a good heart to heart. Greens, yeah. How like, many biggest problems did you have? <laughs> well, the last count was 20. Uh, <laughs> and uh, for those of you out there that, that had an issue with that, uh, I apologize for bringing a little bit of negative energy into the room. But what I, what I like about... Um, this is, I think that it really did address a lot of the big issues that I, that I had in Fast Five. Namely, is that we had a ton of characters and didn't give them a lot to do, and it wasn't as tight as I wanted it to be. This movie, for two hours and ten minutes, to me, felt so much shorter and clips along so much more and has and gives the characters so much more to do. And when we have those moments where we need the comedy relief, it's there, and it's there in the form of like Tyrese and Tej and The Rock, and that, that going back and forth, those three guys is great. We don't need the extra. We just sort of forgot the other two characters that are in the intro, by the way. Yeah, they wrote we, them off in the line, though. They're, they're in there. Last they're time in the, we saw them, they were just doing some gambling in Monaco. That's the last yeah. time we saw them, That's the last time we saw them. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe they'll come back in future iterations. But what I like about it is when you take out those two extra characters, then you really give like a, a little bit more of a spotlight to Tej or to, to Luda and to Tyrese. And I thought I thought all the back and forth of that was, while cheesy and stupid, was Perfect. super fun and worked fun. and was just the right amount. Everything was just the right amount with the exception of the 28 mile <laughs> landing <laughs> strip. Of the 38 fucking, miles. What, whatever amazing. it needs to be. But yeah, but I, I really, really enjoyed this from the start to finish. Yeah, actually, um, just jump into that. Vulture estimates that the runway in the film had to be 28.829 miles long in order to accommodate the whole scene. The longest real-life runway is 7.5 miles. <laughs> yeah, That's but things are happening at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, we're... I feel we're like... having it, such a good time yeah. watching them punch and throw people. Yeah, what do you it's care? not all chronological, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. While, they, while they're doing this shit, these guys are doing that shit, yeah, you, you know think they're just in there taking a breather? No. You know, we cut mm. back to Paul and me exactly. in the car? No, come exactly. on. Exactly. Before you get to the plot, Greg, yeah. I just want to start off with the intro to this movie. That what fucking balls do they have to be like, you know what? We're treating this like a TV show now. It was it has a fucking theme song. It's got a recap. It, and it has it just had a recap, recap of just scenes so while it says good. people's names, and it ends with Furious Six with a shot of all of them all wearing the white linen that Vin Diesel wears, walking towards the not, camera in slow motion. That's a shot not, not in the that movie. For that. It's not in any of the other movies. They're just sort of like, hey, so everyone, cool. is everyone in uh, Miami right now? Can we get you guys on the beach in your in your linens? Vin Diesel has your linen. For I just you. wanted it. He's to got your linen. I wanted it to be like a 90s sitcom where they look at the camera and stuff like that's what like it ends like. with friends they all open way, up though. umbrellas you know it's like what the fuck are you doing i love that though i that think that it, so, it set the tone so perfectly so for what bad. we're about to get that's into the, that's one of the it. only things that i wish they they hadn't done but are you kidding me i love no, it okay. i loved it it took me by surprise i told i think i blocked it out of my brain they did that <laughs> but it's because they show like <laughs> Knowing that those other two characters aren't going to be, I was like, why do they show those guys? Like, nobody cares They're about those well, guys. They were showing Han family. There. Family. Oh, yeah. was that Han? No, they, they show the guys at the casino. Like, I'm like, we don't need to see these guys. Dude, I don't think they showed them at the casino. They focused on the Han I bit where he that. did the drifting thing around and the the thing came down because they they couldn't show Tokyo Drift because it didn't happen yet. Right, right, right. But Good they point. had to. They show. They only focused on the characters that were. In the lineup at the end. That's fair. That's but fair. I love it because it's just so hype. It's, it's just like, it's, I remember being in the theaters when that happened and I looked over down, down the, the row and all of us were just like, yeah, they just did that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? All right, Greg, yeah. time for the plot. Plot, 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 Everybody! Plot, 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 you know what I mean? It's 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 a tale as old as time. These guys racing for pinks. You know what I mean? They all want that pinky pink hat. Yeah. <laughs> but it turns out they already got, got the pink. 
pink. <laughs> they already got the pink, like, that's and that's why pink. they're racing to the hospital. Jesus where guess what, everybody? Mia's about to pop. She's got one in the. <laughs> she got that bun in the oven we saw at the end of Fast Five, and that thing is clawing its way out. They put a bomb in her. They put a bomb in her. <laughs> <laughs> so they, she, they race over there, and they get in there, and there's some place. They're still not in America, right? And uh, you know, she has the baby, and like uh, the the uh, blonde woman, uh, the cop. Elena. 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 Why can I never remember that? Elena, she's there. And like, uh, exactly. I know. It should be easy but, for me to remember. You don't remember because she's only in this movie for five minutes. <laughs> it's just, just totally right around. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Mia has the baby. Congratulations. We got a fucking baby. Yay, Jack. baby. It's a baby. It's Jack. Yay, baby Jack. And I'll tell you what, guys. Six movies in, the old memory banks are just giving out these days. So this is just going to be a big old swash of shit that happens. I, good. <laughs> we might want to prepare the Wikipedia so with the I, it's just, I, I mean, I know it all. It's yeah. just going to be everywhere. So I just can't keep it straight. So then, yeah, Han's car gets knocked over, and he's like, Dominic Toretto. You don't know who <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, but so I, I like this scene, though, because this, and this is like family. one of the reasons why I really like this movie is because we do bring back some of that heart that I that I spoke so passionately about before, <laughs> which is that, you know, there's there's there are now stakes to this, right? He's got a kid. It's it's it is about like, like, what what is it going to be to be a dad? Can I leave this life? What happens if something comes in here? And like, you know, I, I do think that you feel more of the family vibe in this than I think in any of the other ones. Well, he says all. family 19 about times in this fucking movie. Also, lives. this is where Vin Diesel goes from being Dominic Toretto to being the fucking sage, like, soothsayer, or, like the future teller, and yeah. where he's like, You're, did, hey, when you go in that room, everything changes. I'm like, you don't have a fucking kid. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, he was a kid once, there. right? He, he was, was a kid. His dad. That, that is a good point. He had a dad. Well, the family thing, and why I like this movie so much for that is... This gave you the family elements of four that were like the the more like kind of real character driven things. Well, the more the conflict, yeah. This is but the character now it's also there's actual real family things with the kid. Yeah. But also the family the, that comes to the barbecue of the whole team. We now have seen them in five working together. So now this is the second time getting them together. And this is the one. If five is the one that's the heist movie with the mm -hmm. safes, this is the one that's where they meet their evil twins. Which and is I good. fucking love it. Mm -hmm. there, there's not. <laughs> That's one of the things you realize about halfway through this. Where you're like, I mean, they make a joke well, about yeah, it. Yeah, they obviously. call it out. But not only do they call it out, but then you start looking. There's twins in the group. There's like people that look like Dom and The Rock look. Ex they're like exactly the same person. It's ridiculous. And then there's another guy that's them as well. Great. There's so many redundancies, but it doesn't matter. So while Mia's birthing this kid and everybody's having a great time just eating the placenta afterwards, no. the, they, we jump over to Good Moscow. Five, we, five, jump, the we jump to... Edition. Exactly. You should have got the one extra minute. <laughs> they're like, <"Yeah>, family! <laughs> they're like well, the Manson it's, family. It's you know? a Rob Zombie movie for one minute. <laughs> it's the barbecue scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh my there. God. See, while we're talking uh, about that scene, I know we'll get uh, to it. Uh, just go back and watch like the fucking... They're burned. They're just burning shit on the grill. Am I actually with the baby, where they're like fucking flames are shooting at it. Was the baby? I think where they and there's just blackened food on it. And they're like, whatever. No one will see this. Uh, and we go to Moscow, which is very clearly London, but they say yeah. Moscow, so we're in Moscow. Yeah, I, like cool. that. I was watching it with Lucy, and Lucy's like, I know that I lived by that bridge. So <laughs> why are they saying it's Moscow? Uh, and they walked there. Down, there's been like another that. fucking crazy takedown. All these cars did all this crazy stuff, and they took it down. And so the rock series, like, big sweat is uh, Toretto. He looks great in this movie again. Uh, he yeah. he well, fixed he, the beard. He exactly. fixed, the beard. fixed the goatee. Fixed the go he yeah. doesn't have the pharaoh thing anymore. Yeah, yeah, but not yeah. only that, and this is something that uh, I watched with my wife, and she pointed out. She was like, he's so much more fun in this. He's le he's not as like in the other one. I think he was playing more of the character, and they wrote him way more seriously. And in this one, he can have they let him have more fun, and that's where Brock is fucking perfect. Mm -hmm. I think there's still Making a lot the, of those moments though. The, there the, are, the, but, the they're, but they're a little yeah. bit yeah. more tongue in cheek in this. And I think he smiles he, he more does. in this, and he fucks with Tyrese more, and that's the best part. Yeah. All the forehead stuff yeah. fucking gets me. <laughs> I, I love this scene though with the foreshadowing of the bad guy, where like their car is just in the middle of a fucking building, oh, and they're yeah. like, "How would that get there?" Yeah, yeah. that's, that's awesome. Like only one person could have put it there. I'm gonna tell you this though, if 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 there was ever a thought that UFC uh, fighters make terrible actors, Gina Carano made that yeah. a and real thing. And they just thing. keep giving her opportunities, oh my God. man. <laughs> like, one after the other. I felt so bad for her because everyone at this point, everyone in this movie has, like, people, like, the whole cast has been in these movies multiple times now, so they gel. She sticks out like a poor sore thumb, and it's only only forgivable because she has the best fucking fight scene in all of it's Fast great. and Furious. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, you got to forgive her for that, but... This was this was rough. Yeah, yeah. The line car, deliveries were a bit rough. The car in the building is like in the movies where you see like 
a giant dinosaur that's been eaten. You're like, oh, something ate that. I don't, I don't know what it is. But like, I love this it. is that. It like, sets the tone, yeah. man. It's like this one is this where is they who finally don't with. give a fuck. Yeah. So like, guess what? It heroes. wasn't Toretto's gang. It's all part of this uh, Shaw guys gang. Yeah, the we look like right sitting on the chair. We're not oh, there yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. And so yeah, like it's well, fuck. We got to keep taking on Shaw. Well, we got one of the gang, one of the members. Let's let me go talk to him. Says the Rock. And the Rock walks in there. It looks like Vin Diesel, but it's not Vin Diesel. It's clearly, it's, it's clearly who must have been his uh, his uh, fucking stunt guy. Yeah, yeah. Dude, was. from behind. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Vin yeah. Diesel. And so The Rock Same comes in there and he wants to know about Deckard Shaw. And, and the guy's like, I'm not telling you shit. And so The Rock just beats him just <laughs> without <laughs> mercy. <laughs> but beats not, him without not mercy. beats him. He uses, he like throws him around like a pillow yeah. and just destroys Through the room. Ch- demolishes yeah. the room. Yeah. And this, this, fucking, this fucking Moscow guard's like, isn't this against the law? And Gene is like, yeah. And then he's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Are you going to tell him? Are you going to tell him? <laughs> and he's like, I he's won't. Really I'm not yeah. going to do it. And so Rock fucks this guy up and finally gets the information on where Deckard Shaw is or whatever the fuck it was. I don't even remember. They're after components, right? They're trying to make some fucking satellite or some shit. It doesn't matter. Uh, they bounce out of there. Yay. We go back to wherever we are where there's no extradition, which will also be re- shoved down your fucking throat. Uh, and guess what? The baby's been birthed and it's clothed now. <laughs> Yeah, and it's got a name now. Oh, actually, no, you know, I'm sorry. I'm I, actually fuck that. That's the scene coming up. Everybody, put a pin in that one. Instead, guess where we are? We're in Vin Diesel slash Dominic Toretto's bed of sin, oh, and he's yeah. got Elena uh, pressed oh, on. Oh my it. god! Uh, on. Like, how is that possible? If if beautiful Hemsworth, like, shirts. <laughs> no. If I were Chris She's, Hemsworth, I'd be like, no, never again. You're never pressing your boob up against fucking Vin Diesel's chest. Side no, 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 no. And then she'd be like, I'm a strong, independent woman, and I'll do whatever the fuck and I want. And and I would and you would never talk to me. You would never place. talk to me that way, Chris would, Hemsworth. And then I would just get jacked and be like, fuck you, my career is better, Vin. That side boob was legendary, man. It's insane. That's She's stuff I, a legend. She's, it's a very hot scene. Yeah. Very hot God. scene. And, and, and Vin Diesel wanting to keep, is this a PG-13 movie? No, I don't even know. They say fuck a lot. Do they say anything? Must be PG. Okay. Well, they don't want to show. They they definitely don't want to show the nip. In America, here we hate the nip. So Vin Diesel very carefully rolls out and like shoves her down without uh, seeing anything. She rolls over and it's like a Dodge Charger sticker, like pasted. Exactly. It's an off sticker. (laughs) He he goes outside as Vin Diesel does as Dominic Toretto. Yeah, Dominic Toretto <laughs> loves fresh air. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little known fact. Uh, and guess who's out there? It's the fucking Rock. And the Rock, and he's like, no extradition. So he's cool. like, I'm not here to take you in, Toretto. Uh, uh, you'll be, fun. A, you'll be, and then the, you hear the gun cock, and it's, oh, and it's, it's her. She's out there, and then uh, they gives the paperwork. You're gonna, you're gonna be begging me to come with me, and I'm gonna be outside. You figure this out. And he fucking opens it up, and it's a photo of Letty. Yeah. Oh my god, with that god. damn theme song. <laughs> What was the, the theme the, song? There's that love theme song they play anytime he talks about Letty. Anytime in any of these movies, and it's just like it kind of sounds like the Last of Us theme song. Like just it's like guitar fucking like it's great. Ah, and so then Elena. By the way, let me just point out, Tim's really really good at knowing theme songs. Thank you. I'm terrible at it. Like I don't fucking remember during all of MCU interview. Like what are you talking about? Hey. Don't fucking sell yourself short. You come up with all the theme songs for oh, the thanks, show. Thanks, man. I appreciate you're it. You're good at making them up. Thanks, and remember, Yeah, you're great. Yeah, you're great. Your I'm original always shocked music. that you think remember them. Yeah. Original good. music, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thanks. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Alina comes out, and she's like, it's Letty, huh? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, even if there was a chance for my husband to be alive, I mean, because clearly all we are, we just like to fuck each other and yeah. think of the other person. And yeah. I'm like, I can be down with this really, you yeah. know, uh, weird relationship where they weird, lean on each other fucking. just in this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, weird, sad fucking. They just cry, both of them yeah. at the same time. A huge cross. Tom probably has big tears. I called him Tom. I Tom. 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 I thought that was Tom. weird. I was like, Tom, Tom, Tom Diesel. Tom. <laughs> I'll be working on your breaks today. <laughs> I'm That's picturing my space Tom. Uh, Vin Diesel slash Dominic Toretto like walks out front. He's like, "Let's fucking do this. We got to do this. The Rock, I'm in. Let's go." And so then we jump over. We probably do something with Decker Shaw. Who the fuck cares? Then we jump over to uh, Brian with this clothed baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? I picture the baby being like, "I need a 10 second car." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> why, why are you so why hung up on it being clothed? Because he wears bad clothes. <laughs> the baby, the baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just oh yeah, dressed him like a baby. Fuck you, so judgy. You got this stupid like bonnet shit. You know what I mean? All babies have bonnets. Is this some kind of weird Puritan baby yeah. from the 1750s. Yeah, well, you know, he was born in like a missionary. in the back <laughs> taking, wool, <laughs> taking wool off the sheep. <laughs> fucking knitting curtains. This guy, do, do, in your brain, do they have, those, do they have the, the, the blankets that like the that you have to Small fuck box, through? The swaddling? Oh, the oh with the, the hole cut out? Yeah, no, no, cut no out. trust okay. me. It's in my imagination, they are nasty fucking. Nasty fucking? 
Uh, Brian gives his baby this blue car because that's the thing or whatever. And then Dominic Skyline. shows up. And don't forget he's the Toretto and the American Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> and Mia's like, oh, no. And like, I'm here. You just turned him into not giving me anything to do with you this just, movie. You just turned him I'm into the crazy. Viceroy's from Phantom Menace. Uh, he's a Toretto. <laughs> <laughs> so Mia's like, you know the what? Jedi. This little fucking shit machine's got to take a nap. I'll put it away and let you boys have some beers as you always do. What do these guys have left to say to each other is my question. They you know what I mean? They They've been brood. together for fucking ever. Anyways, she goes inside and Dom's like, "What? Well, you know what? You, you, I gotta go do this thing, and you gotta, you can't come." And he gives him the paper, and, and Brian O'Connor's like, "This is a cop thing. It's a cop thing. I was a cop once. This is a cop thing. I was a cop, cop, cop. It's not real, Dom. Yeah. Ah! Dom. <laughs> Dom. Dom. We'll get to those Doms later. Uh, and then he's like, "If there's just a chance, though, I gotta do it." And then he's, "I gotta go alone. You got a family now." And he's like, "No, fuck that. We're family." And Mia comes out. And she's like, "Yeah, she family. knew all about it before even knowing anything <laughs> sure. about it." Well, she was listening. I think she was listening the whole time. Yeah. I think she was just she standing knows, right outside the room. But like, she's no known her level brother, of no level of shock from life. her. Like, she was not surprised. Like, Jared Herman, if there's you have to let it go. When you're when you're Jordana Brewster, when you're this character, and your brother Dom, he's got there's nuances to his looks, right? Like, I'll do them for you. Ready? He does this, mm -hmm. and then he does this. Yeah, and those mean two eyebrow. separate things. Yeah, that's he, two separate things. He pulls off some smiles in this movie. I'm excited for those impressions. <laughs> um. So yeah, okay, we God. gotta do it. We gotta do it. Cool. We need to get the squad back together, right? And that's what it's all about. So then everybody's doing their own shit all over the place. I Roman Pierce it. has a whole bunch yeah, of ladies up in the fun. sky. I love how fast this happens. So yeah, good. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So Again, sh in driving home the family theme, right? They mm -hmm. all call and everybody's like, "Yep, whatever yep, you need, you, Dom." Bros. Right. Uh, and so that's what. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Han and Giselle. They're off doing their thing. We got a uh, Roman in the plane. Yeah, yeah, they're eating, of course. Oh, duh. They're you know eating. I mean? But I, lo I love the their badass scene. Yeah, that, that seems dope. made no sense. Oh, with the <laughs> guns and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Thank you for giving <laughs> yeah. me that. That was cool. Their, her character in this is awesome. So they give her a lot of cool shit to do. Wait, like, but like, yeah. yeah. I want the Han and Finally Giselle adventures. Why didn't they just call Giselle's phone? Why did they have to call the cops oh, to come the surround grid. them? Think you think so? Grid. You think they don't, don't have phones? I, well, I think it was also to show the cooler. power of the rock in this, where he's got like it was, he can get anyone to get anyone. It was also they did a better know. job. I felt you know when we were talking about Fast Five when we need a weapon specialist, and we we're like, what makes or you were like, what makes her the weapon specialist? Like Definitely here seemed like a weapon yeah, specialist. She, here yeah. she's way more into the shooting and having yeah, guns. Yeah, the way so. she moves, the way she handles the gun, like all that stuff. Mm, I yeah. think it was she really, really like a lot sharper in this for her. And like I also love that that. They flesh out Han's character a little bit more in this too. Like we're gonna get to scenes later where he's a little more goofy, Love and it. I like that. I mm -hmm. like that. We're, like to me, Han in this is a little bit more of the Han that we got in in uh, Tokyo Drift, where he's a little bit more well rounded. I always felt like in Five, he's just kind of this mercurial character. In this one, we get a little bit more dimensions to him. I think he's more cute cereal. in this one. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then Tej is uh, and the money changed you, man. Yeah, it did, man. I learned doesn't grow on trees. It rains. And it's like, is that your money? Did you no, just no, you hack I, the I, machine? I think he hacked the machine. Tell you what, too. Ludacris sounds like he's been speaking Spanish since birth. Oh, my he's God. He's perfect. <laughs> His Dude. Spanish is perfect in this. I usually don't care about that type of stuff. <laughs> fucking when bad. I heard it, I was like, Totos Holy shit, I'm like, oh, man. my God. Is he reading off a fucking cue card? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> Why wouldn't they just let him talk, like, speak back to the guys in English? It just reminded me of when he's Nick so says, bad. Lomo saltado. <laughs> Lomo saltado, bien. Estate. I'm like, oh, my God. Stop, Luda, stop. <laughs> Dope car, though. Luda. So everybody's got to go, and they all got to meet up, and they're all going to meet up in London. Hooray, that's where it's on and so we all they we go to London and then we all meet up and it's like we're all sitting there we're gonna hear the plan we're in London we're meeting Jump up ahead real quick <laughs> yeah the last like since we've been doing the show, I keep saying it's London, baby, and I keep being like, oh, it's Austin Powers. It's not Austin Powers. No, it's it Rita Ora Aura in this fucking scene. Could you, like, here's the thing. First off, I think we can all agree the pinnacle of our existence would be to actually go to one of these fucking street races once, right? Oh, yeah. Like, don't you just want to go to this one? No, they seem like they're awful to watch because the race starts and everyone's <laughs> just like, all right, cool, oh, no, great. Good. Hey, but I, I would agree with you oh, now. if it not for the fact that, okay, you just imagine you're sitting here watching a race, engines running, fucking great. Who walks up to start the race? Rita, Rita Ora. Aura. Then they she? go away. The the, the woman that does the no the no I know side. that no. who is she singer, singer. oh okay, cool but could you imagine if you were at a street race you'd be like is that is that fucking Rita Ora <laughs> over there should we go is that, is should we go talk to there? Rita Ora over there what a Red weird man? what is a weird pull still popular. I don't, Rita Rita Rita? I don't think she was ever Rita? that popular. She was uh, ever that popular, but uh, she was popular. Wake me when it's Michelle Branch, then, all right? It's, it was just a weird <laughs> cameo where I was like, like we were watching last night, and D was like, "Is that fucking Rita?" Or <laughs> well, she like, didn't I mean, for the movie too. Oh, okay, so, like, that, that makes more they sense. They usually tie that in. That, that makes way. sense. Okay. Anyway, back to London, baby. We're all there. We're all met up, and it's time for the Rock to lay out the plan. Tyrese wants some food. 
This is very funny. Hold can on. I get it? Can I? This is how you stay a millionaire. Yeah. The Rock walks in and he goes, "Why do I smell baby oil?" Yeah. And the Rock, by the way, kudos to him. They they toweled him off a lot more in this, but yeah. there are a couple <laughs> scenes where his arms are glistening. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's fine. But way less think, than it was in the. Last. I think he was a little bit like, and this is not a knock against the Rock body wise. I think he was a little bit like more fit in this. Less buff, like or less like swollen and lean. more like cut up and lean. Yeah, I think he looks better than, in this than he's done in any of the movies. Before. Oh, I thought he looked bigger in this one. Especially I think his, I think he just looks around. more defined in this. Yeah. And I think his, his uh, waist was a lot. Oh, uh, Kevin, it's because you're watching it like ultra widescreen, so it kind of like I was watching ultra wide. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So they shoot the thing and get the food out. It's all very funny scene. Uh, and then it's like, here's this thing, and Deckard Shaw's got a team, and we got to stop him. Well, you guys are the only ones who can stop him. And they're like, all right, that makes sense. And then we got a bunch of cars over here. Great. That's cool. And then uh, we know exactly where he is. He's underground in this weird thing. All right, cool. Let's all go there. And they go there. And then they're just like, they're, it seems like they're, their headquarters or wherever they are is like in their parking garage is overlooking so the thing. Where Interpol they're on. was going to raid them. Correct. And they had the information, but were not welcome to join the raid. So it looks like they had found a spot to spec everything out, sure. check, make sure everything looked sure. cool. Interpol, of course, a terrible band and just a bunch of clowns here, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, luckily, they have 7,000 cops that are all waiting as if they're watching like a fucking matador here's the thing. <laughs> like event. <laughs> they they <laughs> don't have 7,000 cops. They use the cop of whatever cities that are there because later when they're driving in the streets, they're like, oh, all the cops are gone. So, but I just feel like in this scene, out. wherever yeah. you looked, there was a oh crowd God. of millions of cops. <laughs> also, yeah. you would think that like there's literally one entrance in and one entrance out of this place. Maybe put something as a barrier. Yeah. You know, well, this no, guy's got they, cars they that bring, are fast. The, the knockoff Vin Diesel is getting a wire, getting the the wire put on him right outside of where he's going in, yeah. where they are flashing the lights, making like we're the cops like, are right outside. Like, yeah, Why even Michael? Subtle. They're about yeah. as subtle as a fucking no. heart attack. In this they had one. to wait for the uh, voice confirmation. For Shaw. Which didn't even make sense because it's like the, the Vin Diesel clone yells Shaw and they're like, it's confirmed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but he goes, but but this was weird because I kind of like lost That was the code attention. word actually, Greg. He yelled Shaw because My Shaw apologies. pulls a gun out, right? Yeah. Shaw pulls a gun out. You're like, oh shit, he's going to shoot him. And they're like, oh, he's there. It's Shaw. Let's move in. And then it cuts back to a scene and they're just talking yeah. normally. He, he put it away. Did he put it away? Yeah, yeah. He, he went, yeah, Shaw, yeah. Is that what it would happen? Yeah, he, put, he tucked like it back in his thing, that. and it was that thing of like, oh, they wanted us to think he was going to kill him. No, yeah, here's yeah, your yeah. cut in advance on the next job. Which, the next job, of course. My question, the one, a great why would you bag. give him a bag with a bomb in it with money in the I bag? I don't know. Well, because Shaw doesn't care about Shaw doesn't give a shit. He just wants to see the world burn. Yeah, he likes things that are cheap, like dynamite and gasoline. That's cheap. Did we see that bag explode? Yeah. We saw the outside bags explode, like the ones holding up the pillars. But I don't know if we see it explode. I mean, I assume it does. I don't know. I think I think I think that when he had the thing where he hit the button, everything. I think we. The bag explosion. So Shaw gets into his mini really Batmobile cool. or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is so fucking dude, cool. Dude, such a cool car. He's just fucking tearing out of there. Things are exploding. It's collapsing. It's real cool. It's all real cool. Too this movie has a Diesel Dark Knight vibe to it. It does. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. the car. Hey, well, yeah, but just the way it's shot, and but, I feel like the stakes and uh, the where like it is. Dark Knight was also shot a bunch, like under a bunch of shit. You know, uh, so like we had a bunch of those scenes. Oh, sure, yeah, 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 totally, totally. But I love the idea that also, like, The Rock's vehicle is his big, like, that's Fucking, The Rock I mobile. Love it. Yeah, yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love that he just plows through shit like it's a tank, but yeah. it's not. Oh, that's so great, and that's so indicative of his character, right? I, yeah. I do love that. Like, Dom is a little bit more strategic, but he's also a tank. But then, like, just the differences in how they drive and what they drive. Well, he's in a this. Mus- Dom's a muscle car. You know? Dom cars is a muscle car. Man. He's a fucking tank. But what I, I, I that's the other thing. We're going to get to the cars in this. I fucking love the cars in this movie. They finally were like, let's have cool cars. Oh, my God. While just Decker turners. Shaw's blowing shit up and killing a thousand cops or whatever and driving on out of there, it comes over the radio. Loot is listening in, of course. They're hitting Interpol right now, and he's like, "Oh fuck! It was a diversion. This is the whole thing." So like the the Rock team, Team Rock, Team Team Dom, they jump into cars and they shoot off over there. They're gonna go chase them down. Uh, Brian's gonna keep his eye on whoever. They're all fucking driving around the place. That's what's happening. And so like Shaw tears out of there. Some of them chase him. Everybody runs over to Interpol. They people come running on Interpol and they they start shooting the cars. And it's very awkward. And then they get out of the cars to shoot to him. Like stay in the car and yeah, shoot. The, you know what the, I mean? Like they're they, not just getting shot at. There's a sniper, sniper on with the like top a, of the roof. a gigantic fucking sniper rifle that yeah. seems like it would just kill everything. On, but like <laughs> yeah. no. But Paul Walker pulls up and shoots, and the sniper gets down. I'm yeah. Like, but also, in, a, in a great fucking shoot, scene, like an though, elephant in a great elephant scene, gun. and this is like really, really kind of not foreshadowing, but it's there's a moment, I mean, it is, but there's a moment where Giselle is like, has a beat on this fucking guy. And then Han comes out of nowhere, like realizing that she's, she, I mean, she's just in it. She's yeah. like, I don't give a fuck what's going to happen. I'm here to save people. Like, it's cool. Yeah. I feel like they did it too many times in this no, damn movie. There's it. like three or four scenes where 
Giselle, is, there's a lot of cat hair on there. You can just leave it. I just wanted the thickest one. Nah, all right. Did you brush your hair with Thomas today? <laughs> uh, he just likes. <laughs> <laughs> he just likes rubbing against me right before I'm gonna leave, and it's just like there's nothing. Oh, he's wearing black. black. Let me go yeah. rub against. Yeah, him. yeah, that's what it is. It's not just black; it's red too. It's, don't this is a dope it. action scene. I love the little EMP blast that they put yeah, in the cars. Cool. Yeah, and so then, we're racing away. We're getting chased. The EMP blast. The things are getting shot onto the cars, and it's like, what is that fucking shit? And it turns out, oh, they're chips that can take over your cars. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just fails. Yo, he gets fucked he gets up. Fucked up. That's up. the thing. The, the summary of this scene, of course, is that guess what? Dominic Toretto's gang is getting out Dominic Toretto. Yeah. They're getting fucking mm -hmm. clowned it's out. Cool. It's Mighty Ducks 2. You it's thought cool. you were the best Whoa. hockey team? We're here yeah. to be the really best hockey good. team. It's yeah. Captain America. And so yeah, they're Winter fucking everything Soldier, up. Baby. Paul Walker, Dominic, he, uh, Brian O'Connor has such vision on this thing on his bumper. He's able to just like knock it off. It's right? so yeah. fucking it's cool. cool. It's cool. Such He's a great a scene. Driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So cool. Exactly. I like that. And so yeah, they're racing through the streets and they're pancaking cars and Tyrese is getting fucked up and Luda is getting fucked up. And this is this is rough. You know this is rough on Tej. Because Tej, of course, didn't drive for the longest time because of his accident. Yeah. Now Dominic Torres forced him back behind the wheel. And what happens? Fucking pancaked here by Team Moscow or whatever. It's all shit's breaking loose and everything's going on. And they're going on the thing. And they drive down in the tunnels and they're fucking doing. And cars are flipping over. And people are moving out of the way at the last second. And they're going off the fucking ramp cars and all the shit's did. happening. Dude, the yeah, ramp yeah, cars yeah. are so cool. Yeah. And so, yeah, they just get their fucking lunch served. I'm sure there's probably some showdown at the end. I don't remember. Yeah, so Dom is the one that actually goes and stays at the thing, and then he oh, chases the thing, yeah. at like the start where, where it all started. Okay. He's the one that okay. stayed there because he knew Letty was going to be somewhere. And then oh right, at he one breaks point, it. He, sees, fight, he yeah. sees Letty's car. Yeah, and he's like, and he goes, Letty's car. Letty. Yeah, right. And he shoots off. He stops chasing Shaw and yeah. goes after Letty. And Letty, of course, stops her car. He stops his car, and then they just both get out. And Letty just shoots him, <laughs> which, yeah. which is pretty it's fucking awesome. Scene, yeah. awesome. I love scene, how quick yeah. they were. And they're yeah. like, that really does set the the tone for like where we're at with characters. Yeah. Also, um, I want to say shout out to Letty's car. I didn't. I, I had to look it up, and I unfortunately forgot what it was. I think it was a Jensen or a Jenner. But it's a fucking really cool looking car. And it's like, a you want to get over there? Go look at that, Kev. Give it a second. Give it a second. Let it all click oh, back. No. It's back. If you're I think an audio listener, keep on clicking. Something happened to the There's screens. There's some flashing and stuff. Looks but like I, I also love that she, sh good. she shoots him in the shoulder, right? Yeah. And of course, Dominic Toretto's skin cannot be punctured. It's oh, yeah. made of Kevlar. He, I think oh. he, at one point, the next scene, just pulls, pulls it out it himself. Out. Yeah. And I'm like, what kind of lame dick bullet is she using for this? His, oh, wait, yeah. that's a huge important plot point, apparently. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she has this dumb gun Hilarious. that she likes so much that only one person on the planet can make a bullet for it. <laughs> And Whatever. so that's the thing. Back at HQ, everybody's mending to their wounds. Dominic Toretto taking care of himself, yanking all his own bullets out. Uh, people are just like, I can't believe this just fucking happened. Is this where Tyrese is like, we're fighting our yeah. evil twins yeah. or whatever? Yeah, 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 funny. Yeah. And they pull them up on TVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he goes through every one of one by one. Like, this is you? Yeah, yeah. That's you? It's like, damn, bro. I, I, do, I, I, I don't know if this was... Oh, this was the cool scene, and I wanted to mention that where... <laughs> I think at one point, and maybe it's not this, maybe it's the next one, but at one point, Brian thinks he's got a beat on the one car. And then switches over and yeah. Vi comes yeah. and like knocks him over and flips him over and then she comes back and winks at him. Oh, well, he does oh, the yeah. slow motion. Oh so shit! Good. He goes, oh yeah, 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 shit! Like yeah, yeah. he's and it's it's so cool because cool they. I mean, this is the first time we've ever seen these guys really severely fucking they lose. lose yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. she just pulls right up like a fucking G and like and just, just winks at him like, and bounces off. Man, I just got goosebumps. So right there. That was really good. That was really good. But now, even though. They're down a notch. They have enough information to start putting it together, right? These cars are crazy custom with magnetic suspensions and all sorts of Turbo ping diesels. pong balls and shit in them. I don't know. And, and they're like, oh, oh, is this the scene where they go around and start talking and The Rock yeah. realizes, or like, no, The Rock, yeah. Gina Carrera, whatever, the Carano? Carano, I Carano. think. Carano. Uh, realizes like, oh, they know. They really know what they're doing. They, really know what yeah. they're they doing. know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they start debating about cars and shit. He like looks that. at her yeah, and yeah. he's like, "Check this shit." Yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of my cousin Vinny when uh, Marissa Tomei is about to go off about the car. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, and, yeah. and what's his face? Uh, uh, the, 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 Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci kind of looks it's at her like, like "Check this trick shit. question." He's like, "Oh, you can't answer." No, it's a trick question. It's a bullshit question. So good. It's bullshit question. God, I love her. Ah, ain't me. And so then, yeah, that they saw. We're gonna look into the guy who has these kind of. There's only one guy that can do that, and then also meanwhile, yeah, exactly. Bullet. Can I fucking do it? Just I didn't know. I didn't know. Sometimes, you, sometimes you need the assist. Don't like, touch me. We have a nonverbal communication body language. This is the countdown clock to me kicking your ass. <laughs> 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 it happened Shit. in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's counting up. Okay. Um, Can you just move that? Sorry. And so meanwhile, yeah, uh, yeah, there's a bullet here and it's from this kind of gun and only one dude would sell that kind of gun here too. So we're going to go find that. Dominic and Brian are going to go do that. Uh, Han, Giselle,
and uh, Tyrese are going to go over. Why? Crush. She was in a movie called Crush, right? Wasn't she? Uh, I don't know. She's in Deadpool. Think so. Well, from now on, she's called Crush. Everybody suck my dick. <laughs> uh, they're going to go over there and do that thing over there. Whatever. No, they're going to go look at the car people. And so I was like, cool, break everybody's team. Meanwhile, Decker Shaw is like, I need to know everything about these people, do all this fucking stuff, but I'm probably combining a little bit of stuff here. And then this stuff, and they get their FBI Interpol files or whatever, right. and they open them up, and they're like, oh, fucking, hey, you're on his lap, Letty. You remember this? You remember this? He's like, I don't remember it. And then fucking Hulk walks in, and he's like, are you sure you don't remember? And he's like, get out of my fucking face. He said, she says something more aggressive than that. It was, How it was big is that I'll guy. turn you into, like, the pussy or something. It's such yeah, a, yeah, it was yeah, weird. Yeah, you were the, like, I thought you were the muscle. I'll, I'll, you want to turn you into the pussy? Like, what the fuck? Did that yeah, what does that even mean? It's, I think she's going to fuck him. It was the dumbest. It was God, it was the dumbest it line is, in the whole really movie. I have no fucking idea. I thought you, I thought he was a WWE guy. Is he not? No, no, he's huge. No, no, no. He looked a lot. He looked similar like CG. Brock Lesnar. At, at first, I thought this he scene was, was a little dumb. Yeah. I was like, why would you keep this person in your group if you knew that there was even a remote possibility? But I think they explained they it enough. They cleaned it up real like, nice later. Well, I, I mean, you get the fact that, nice. that Shaw is this guy that like has a plan five steps beyond. And you kind of get that he's keeping yeah. Letty in the pocket just in case he might yeah. need... To, to have her as shit. leverage later, mm. which I like. But I, I like his line in this, right? And this is one of the things that I respect about this movie is that Shaw is not just this dumb shit like character of like, we're going crazy. We're going to have to kill everyone, kill everyone. He's like, we got to respect these guys. He's like, the second you stop respecting your enemy is the second you start losing. I, I'm paraphrasing the line. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it was because he's like, we got to study these motherfuckers. They're just common they're, criminals. Yeah, they're not common criminals. He's like, these guys are precision and precision is his thing. They were like, one move away from beating yeah, us. Yeah, beating so us. So respect fucking respect that. that. Really and I was cool. like, oh, all right, really Shaw, cool. what's up? Also, what's up? Luke Evans, I stand by, would make a phenomenal Batman. Just saying that. I'm also sure you guys a great guest on. Yeah. He is a good guest on. It. Great guest on, yeah. More so on now we break off into our different teams. Let's for just shits and giggles. We'll go with Brian and Dom here. They go to the the pawn shop there, and like big guys show up, and they don't want to fucking talk to Dom at all. And so Dom grabs a dude, and then Brian fucks up the other dude, and everybody's fucking everybody's up, and they're headbutting each other, and, like, ah, and then he just got the guys like, "Where's gun?" And this, and she's a street racer. Oh, okay, a lot of headbutting in this movie. dark haired woman. A lot of headbutting. Yeah. Some really Someone really cool headbutting yeah. towards the end. We'll get to that later. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of headbutting, a lot of jumping from things. We missed one jump scene in this movie. The first one Wait, where during the big chase scene where they got beat, The Rock is a, le a level above. Oh, right, oh my right, God. Right, right, the Rock right. jumps out of his car to land Take on the, the fucking car. The Rock is a fucking superhero in this one. They all are. Even when he was beating yeah, yeah, up British, British Vin Diesel. At one point, my wife was like, can he really do that? Can he really lift a guy like that into the air? And I was like, what are you talking about? And Because it, it didn't occur yeah. to me. Yeah. Every while that I was like, no, honey, he can't. Because <laughs> he just grabs him by the belt and like throws him up. I don't know. Like, oh, man. I look at him and I think he might I, be able to I do don't, it. I don't With think the that amount he... of wrestling we watched, like yeah. I, last night I watched Elimination Chamber, motherfuckers getting thrown by these big guys. I, there's no I, wires there. There, there are, I think there are definitely wires <laughs> in this. Like there's at one point he grabs oh, it no, and just... There's... Throws him into the air, and the guy flies like six feet into the fucking ceiling. Wait, just like, to be clear, there are wires, but oh, yeah. I think he might be able to do some of these things. I think he could do one take of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah definitely yeah, yeah. one take, but yeah. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Uh, so they get the information they need. She's a street racer. Oh, cool. That was a good information. And they, they all leave. That was and, good. Thank and, you. They, 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 they flip this sign of closed. Thanks, Which guys. I, good job, Paul. A lot of people do that in movies, and it, uh, it's always cool. It's always cooler when they do it before they beat people up, not yeah. after. Well, yeah, because that, that's the first warning. The usually usually yeah. it's like, get the fuck out of my place, and they walk over, flip it, turn around, it's like you're about to get fucked. But I like this because I thought it was like very much like, all right, you guys are going to need to be closed out for a little while. Thank you, Cool Ray. Yeah, this scene, this scene, I like this scene because it because it, it gives Dom and and uh, uh, Brian a, a scene to have and, and breaks them away from the group. This is the scene where everyone's kind of breaking up and going to investigate stuff. Stop Damn. eating on podcasts. Stop <laughs> eating. Um, but this is a pointless scene. Yeah. All we learned from this is that Letty is a street, racer, a street racer, and we already knew that Letty was a street but racer. But we didn't know she was still street racing, right? That's fair. Her her brains are scrambled. <laughs> we don't know what she's going to be. Street, it's it's but if I was Dom in the world that they've built, and I was looking for Letty, I'd probably go to the street race. Place, sure, right? fair, Most fair, 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 fair. Uh, meanwhile, yeah, we all go to investigate Magnet Suspension Man, and we get over there, and he's got a fucking grappling gun. He's just shooting out and trying he's to just the fucking yard. So much fun. Good for he's him. Just, and they all like, watch him very quietly, and then it's this uh, Tyrese and Han are going to go down there. They're like, no, you don't send a don't send a man to do a woman's job. He's a man. And they walk off. And then Han has this great scene where she's like, he always, she always says that. Yeah. And then Tyree's like, you're in love with her. And this yeah. is a great little yeah. scene. Oh, about, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's so good. But uh, Crush and uh, Wonder Woman, they get down there. And they're like, Crush. hey, like, tell us this thing. He's like, why would I tell you? Because we we're asking nicely. Or we don't. We don't. And then they fart and start twisting him and all the stuff. Huh? No, they fucking start. Oh, fucking he start. said fucking I start together and, and start. It, it I mean, they might have farted. I mean, that much <laughs> physical exertion. You know, I
It's you know, they, they you twisted know. him in the most painful of ways. Yeah. 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 Well, at one point, well, she has her knee, or is she stepping on his face? She, she has I her knee at his face. Sort of and a, like, yeah. Yeah. She was doing a half, like a half head mount, is what it's called, yeah. where you're basically sitting on someone's face on the, in the but, opposite direction. Like, and she had him in like this fucked up. She had him in a kimura, but also a wrist lock. It was yeah, just brutal. But it wasn't like smooth pavement, right? Oh, it wasn't no, no, it that rocks. Hurt. That hurts. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, that no. that looked fucking awful. Yeah, she was. She was. That was. That was painful. Yeah. And so, uh, fine. He's like, all right, fine. I'll tell you what you want to know or whatever. And so they start walking there, and then we probably went back to the other scene. We come back to this scene. They walk inside, and meanwhile, they're the, they're just not paying attention. He no. pulls out his phone. He calls Shaw. He slips in his pocket. He's like, so why you guys want to know? About and meanwhile, back at Shaw's base, the guy's phone rings, and then he knows not to say anything. He picks it up like. And he walks over and gives it to Shaw, and Shaw hears all the shit that they're looking for him or whatever. And so Shaw's like, scramble the troops, go out there and fucking kill these guys. Good little team he had built. That guy, like, handled the situation really well. Yeah, exactly. They're professionals. And then they fuck him over. Precision. Yeah, what well. are you going to do? Um, he messed up. He didn't uh, we, no, it, he didn't. Some he more stuff just, happens. They're probably more at the pawn shop relaxing. shit. Uh, and then the guys roll up, and Tyrese and Han are like, what the fuck? Oh, shit, no. And so they run down there, and then uh, in one of the weirdest scenes, the guy at the computer is like, sorry, ladies, because he knows what's about to happen. And what he does is stand up exactly where the women are, and he's the only one who gets blown away yeah, by all the shots dumbass. that come in, rather than go, sorry, ladies, and drop below his desk and have them go like, what the fuck, and then get shot. He it. stands up, and they're like, that must be the guy. Everybody shoots him. They don't get shot yeah. at all. But they drop, and they got their guns out, and it's ping pong, ping pong. Bing, bong, bong, bing, ding, well, no, there's one important thing here where she goes, hey, they fucked you over. They killed you. I'll make sure Shaw's pays for this. Give me, like, tell me where this, the thing is or whatever. Braga. And he goes, Braga. Which is which and I'm like, awesome. Good. So, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? Really? Yeah, How is this what? related? Because <laughs> at first I was like, I don't, because I didn't remember Braga being in this movie. I was like, oh, he must have said something else. I just misheard him. No, he said Braga. He said Braga. And dude, that's a key thing. When I watched this movie, again, like, one of the biggest Fast and Furious fans in the fucking world. Yeah. When I saw Six in theaters and that happened, I was like, what? Wait, who's Braga again? Because yeah. I hadn't seen four in six years yeah, at that point or whatever it was. It was weird. And then you see him and you're like, oh yeah, he was a bad guy. But like, I was like, was he the bad guy in two? In four? I don't fucking remember. But, but uh, watching him now, this close together, it's like, okay, it's like, a nice okay, little story. I get it. Uh, and I get it because it kind of, it kind of, they kind of explained it. Was, it was good. It was good. But what, this this scene, so there's that and then there's also the, be, uh, one of like, I'll say like top three moments of this entire fucking movie comes where the guys, like, first off, Letty breaks off and Gina Carano runs after her. We're going to get to that. You'll get to that in a second, Big Poppy. But then there's the shot where the dude's on the motorcycle and Gal Gadot just gets a beat on him and follows him for a second, 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 second. Bam. And he done. just done. One shot fucking so kill. So cool. So Dope. good. Let's Weapon go. specialist. Weapon mm -hmm. specialist. And then I love this scene where there, there's the two separate the dual fights fight going. Scenes? The dual fights yeah. were great. And it's what you so said, right? We were talking about the best fight scene of all, uh, Michelle Rodriguez versus, versus Crush. Versus and Gina then Carano. Han and Tyrese just getting outclassed just getting over and over by this one guy. And Justin Lin so was saying funny. that like it, he wanted to subvert expectations. Like Everyone thought Han was going to know Kung Fu. Of he course. didn't. No. no. And, and this I, is I just fucking love it. great. This is so good. The juxtaposition of like this amazing woman, like, woman on woman fight scene where they're just fucking and culminating Brutal. with... The coolest stunt I've ever seen in a movie where you know someone got fucking paralyzed with this. Oh, the stairs. Where she just runs and they just take her down over the fucking railing. Yeah. Down a flight of stairs. I'm like, are you, like, amazing. What, I think, what I think is really impressive about that fight scene is Michelle Rodriguez looked equal to yeah. Gina Carano, which is nuts because one's a fighter and no. one's Michelle Rodriguez. And honestly, to be fair, well, Michelle she, Rodriguez had, her, uh, she had a dead right in an arm bar. Let it go. Hey, man, I'll Michelle Rodriguez say. had a pass before this that y'all didn't know about. Exactly. Apparently, it was like, an MMA fighter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that scene, that scene where the guy's just housing people and they just stop and he's like, you go, you go. No, you go. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, it, it reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Lethal Weapon 4, the end of Lethal Weapon yeah. 4, where he's like, they just like Danny Glover and Mel Gibson are looking at Jet Li and they're like, we just don't want to fucking go back. They yeah. just get the shit kicked out of him. Like, we don't want to go back in there. But yeah, they, it ends with that great line where he's like, nobody has to know about this. <laughs> <It's> like, agreed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's so funny. Both those fight scenes were so well choreographed. They were great. And so much fun to watch. Yeah, yeah really, I don't know. Really I don't know really who that guy it. is. Who the, who the, he was in the, the raid. Was he? Or wait, the raid. Yeah. yeah. He's a bad One motherfucker. Of that scene was great. That mm -hmm. scene was so good. Before we get on with the plot. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this episode of Kind of Funny in Review is brought to you by Eero. Eero is the Wi-Fi we always wish we had in our own homes. A fast, reliable connection in every room, including the backyard. Total network protection. Eero Plus offers the ability to block malicious and unwanted content across your entire network. There's advanced security by checking the sites you visit against a database of millions of known threats. Eero Plus prevents you from accidentally visiting malicious sites without slowing anything down. Uh, there's third-party security apps, VPN protection from Encrypt.me, password management from 1Password, antivirus software from Mal Malwarebytes, which has been the uh, antivirus and malware service that I've been using for over a decade now. Uh, I set it up for Gia's mom, and it was super simple, easy to do. Uh, the app gave you, gives you step-by-step -step installation and optimization directions, and next thing you know, uh, they were getting Wi-Fi coverage all over their house. They always had problems in Gia's uh, sister's room and their in-law unit, but now that's all changed. You never need to think about Wi-Fi again to get $100 off the Eero base unit and two beacons, uh, one year of Eero Plus. Visit Eero.com slash kindoffunny and at checkout, enter kindoffunny. That's E-E-R-O dot com slash kindoffunny. At checkout, enter kindoffunny. And next up, shout out to Hims. 66% of men lose their hair by age 35. The thing is, when you start to notice hair loss, it's too late. It's easier to keep the hair you have than to replace the hair you've lost. That's why you should be like Nick and Andy. Hell yeah. And go to 4 .com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skincare, and sexual wellness for men. Thanks to science, baldness can be optional. Hims connects you with real doctors and medical-grade solutions to treat hair loss. These are well-known generic equivalents to name brand prescriptions to help you keep your hair. Uh, there's no waiting room, no awkward in-person doctor visits. You can save hours by going to 4 They did it. They went online, talked to a doctor, sent in some photos, and got matched with a prescription to help fight their thinning hair. You can order now. Our listeners get a trial month of Hims for just $5 today. Right now, while supplies last, you can see the website for details. This would cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy. You should go to 4 slash morning show. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash morning show. Back to the plot. So everybody falls back to their bases of operations, right? We go back to the rock camp. Everybody comes in haggard and beat up or whatever. Like, oh, my God, what happened? Braga. Oh, God, it's Braga. We got to figure out how to get to Braga. And I, I, for real, when they said, like you're saying, when they said Braga, like, Braga, I was like, Braga. oh, man, uh, okay. And then when we got back there, I was, and Brian starts explaining who Braga is, I was like, is he dead? Is he alive? Yeah, I thought, I thought everybody died. didn't he grab his died. leg. I'm like, oh, is the other guy? Oh, they actually took Brock to jail. Okay, cool, whatever. Mm -hmm. So Brian's mm -hmm. got to go back. You can't go back. You'll be arrested on site. I'm like, aren't we working with the government? I feel like The Rock can make a call to be like, hey, uh, this guy's an informant or whatever, and he's coming. Whatever, we're gonna yeah. have to do a different way. The, the, this was the uh, one of the only weird parts of this movie for me because I was like, first off, it's we. I don't like when they're like, you're gonna get on a plane and go over to this thing. Like all that time has to pass to be able to do this, and then you just back the next. Remember they day. had four days too. Yeah, it's it was a little bit weird, but also I just thought the inclusion of Braga was 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 one thread too far. I that should have been probably a scene between Dom or or Dom and Brian and Shaw. Like Shaw should have told them all that information, or Letty should have remembered something at some point. It's just it was so it's such a weird non sequitur to kind of like tear off into that path for one scene really yeah, i agree although we do get the great back and forth between him and the guy that's now because they're kind of like friends almost Silver Linings playbook guy. Yeah, yeah 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 i like the guy the guy from uh, boardwalk empire is that's my thing. Yeah. No, we get that one was a great throwback to have him and we came off this week talking about, about weaving a universe or whatever yeah, yeah. like him coming off the plane and being like, i was like oh man it's that guy again cool yeah. and then when he gets the exact same injury in yeah, the yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i was like that's really cool yeah. i think i would have probably missed if we weren't watching them all back to back and, and I, seeing I this. did. Yeah. I remember watching in theaters, seeing that scene and being like, oh, okay. yeah, I do remember this guy, but like, I yeah. don't know his fucking connections. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey. That's why, that's we why also we're got a, another, in I, I think, cool fight scene in the prison. Yeah, yeah. That oh, yeah. Moment oh yeah. Where he was like, "If this door weren't here," and then and the and door opens, just looks and opens and the door. Like, yeah, like, and he has oh, some shit. He has that and moment. And, and fucking Brian O'Connor does it, man. He dimes that's all that. these guys out, and then he What's stabs Braga a couple BJJ? times. Bjj, mm -hmm. nice. Uh, he actually was using a lot more Muay Thai in that because he has. He's throw, like what I like about his well, choreography is he's throwing fucking elbows left and right, which is cool. And it's it's cool because it's very functional. It doesn't look that great on camera, but they make it work a lot. Yeah. And yeah, Don't stabs show. Braga in the leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets the information <laughs> he needs. This is the way. If Shaw, the only way you get close to Shaw is if Shaw wants it. You know what I mean? Like Shaw engineers everything. But says Braga. The, the, the only, the the weird thing about this to me is that in the hierarchy of of criminal criminal bad activity, guys. bad guys, bad guys, and bad I guys. would think that Braga would be way higher in the fucking in the pecking order than Shaw. 
but he makes Shaw sound like like his boss. Shaw's yeah. like the boss of everyone, which is weird because Shaw's like a good ten years younger than Braga, and so you're like, he's like, this guy's been running things for ten. Like when? What he sorry, was well, he fifteen? Like how long? How old is Luke Evans? I think it's different fun. ambitions. I feel like Braga was very much like a localized. We're trying to get the drugs Ooh. in Mexico. I'm going to own this area. Whereas right. it sounds like uh, Shaw came in and said, "No more local, international." Thing. And yeah. Shaw, Shaw pulls different, like it's higher more level government crimes. level shit. Like but, he's trying to block the but government. It's, it's just weird <laughs> that like yes, block the yeah, he's blocking the government. It's just weird to me that Braga kind of comes off as this like veteran, like and also remember like Braga had was running like a crazy game of like espionage. No mm -hmm. one knew who he was and all this stuff. And it's just Good weird point. that he's all mm -hmm. of a sudden. Mm -hmm. Just but some Shaw, John and Shaw, Shaw's game. I'm like, I don't, I don't Shaw like how you're doing Braga. Taught him that though. I, I feel like, but again, you're setting that up I to think be that. You would think that, but then like Braga looks like the older, elder like tutor. I read and a, Shaw's like 20 years younger than he is. I read so, like, a Braga's thing online. also in Silver's Lining Playbook. Is he really? Yeah, oh, he's a good actor. I read an online theory that Shaw is more of like a title, like Ra's al Ghul. Uh, okay. So like, it might be one of those. Uh, kind that of seems yeah. sense. Yeah. I, one thing I liked about this, and I know it's fan servicey, but I liked it like. They were like connecting everything and like trying to, hey man, I knew that Letty was undercover as soon as you put her in because Shaw told me. And it's just good. like, yeah. The, yeah. The, I mean, the only other thing that I'm saying, and I know this is a bit of a leap, and this is where I, I'm choosing to believe this, is that it's possible, possible, possible that he's not referring to this Shaw. Ooh. It's possible that the mm. elder Shaw mm. is 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 the one that's like the really dangerous one, and this one, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. like Shaw in True. general is a family. True. Yeah. That's good. That's, that's interesting. And it was that's, cool. the that's the only thing that I'm like because but it's Statham. That makes sense. Well, it could be his mom, right? Too. Isn't well, we're gonna talk about the future. Well, you, you just did. Right I mean, you just did. Well, you, family you, is two brothers. You guys are the ones that are spoiling everything. For we don't Andy. know that. Well, you yeah, also you don't know. You that. said Statham. <laughs> <laughs> I see him in this movie. We, we don't see know the, the connection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, so we also talked about the 84 mile landing strip at the end of this. <laughs> and just the word landing strip gets me hot. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Right. It's a good yeah. word. It's a good uh, word. Uh, yeah, so that's all. We we just did it all. We nipped that entire thread. Great. Uh, meanwhile, on the well, other in, side, in and out. Exactly. On the other side, uh, we're going to go to the street race yeah. now. We go to the street race, and here are some asses again, because this dude, is Fast and Furious. This movie franchise just keeps getting better and better at showing the same scene with the hot music playing. They had that car. It's the same dolly, Just dude. fucking, like, on its side going. It's like, mm -hmm. why? Which is the people hanging out of it, like, Ghost Rider. I like, Rider. I like this is a Ghost weird Rider. music video out of nowhere that happens. I love it, though. I love it's that it's fading this, in and yeah. out. I love it. Moment. It's cut to the song. It's completely ridiculous, and, and we Rita get Aura. Rita Ora. Given a great London, monologue. London, baby. London, you think you don't do it? Well, we do it better in London. I'm like, what we are you fucking saying, Rita Ora? <laughs> yeah. Just wave your arms. Let's start the stupid race. Love it. Uh, so she waves the arms and starts stupid race, and Dom races uh, Michelle Rodriguez, uh, Letty, and they go, and they go, boom, 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 and it's Nas. We got some and Nas. Again, great, great scene, great character development, great action, what, what, great Nas. This movie doesn't have a bad action scene. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. What was the What was the point of her being at the street race? Though? She likes to race. Oh, she likes to race. She's so a do race. Do you think that Shaw girl. would have been like, "Hey, we're doing something here. Maybe for for your night off, go to a fucking dinner. Don't go to a street race that you might get arrested." Shaw can't at. control these kids. Yeah, it's the no same way. reason why when she Harry Osborn lost his memory, he was like, "I just want to fucking fly play basketball." basketball. Yeah, yeah, we should we should shoot some hoops, man. Exactly. <laughs> uh, worth pointing out, we missed the scene from when uh, they came back and at Shaw's HQ, and the guy was dead, and Shaw didn't give a shit. And yeah. Michelle Rodriguez was like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "Is piece that didn't work?" But ago. then he was like, "I've groomed you in the back." And he was talking about grooming her a lot and how you know all this stuff. Anyways, sh so. The you already have the dichotomy here of like one side's all family, ride or die. The other side is like whatever. He even said, and then you know, Vin says ride or die in the car. So. But he also says like I like you, right? Like he, yeah, he likes her. He's like really attracted to Michelle yeah. Rodriguez. Which like, is, but, but like the way you're attracted to your cat. Well, yeah. no, I, I don't know. I thought Thomas. he made it seem like. I care so about you more than I was the just other making people. a cat joke. It's oh, fine. Okay. He's like, you know what I mean? I will say oh, this he does though. say that, yeah. But I think it's because he's groomed her from the hospital mm -hmm. bed to mm -hmm. this awesome driver. Yeah. When he when Dom pulls up next to her though. And I've I've I have been had some harsh criticisms of the chemistry between or the lack thereof of chemistry between Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez in this. But when he pulls up and she sees him mm -hmm. and she's like, "What is it with this guy?" There was a there this was guy's a crazy this guy's crazy. There was a palpable heat between yeah. these, these two. These are in the this worst Michelle Rodriguez <laughs> yeah. impressions you're no, gonna hear on the internet on. today. Your Dom's really on. good, but everything else I don't know. Dom, yeah, nailed it. It's just uh, so Mark they Simpson. race and they run, <laughs> and they race and they drive, and Dom wins on this fucking 
Who designed? How do they say this is going to be the course? Nobody really knows. But they they knew they knew because they they're street racers. Yeah. They win. They pull up. They talk, and then it's like you beat me, and you 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 still do the thing with the stuff, and you spin out at the end. And she's like, Meh. and they were like, they fucking talk, and then they start talking about her scars because she doesn't know where her scars come from. Great scene. Yeah. Great Again, scene. most chemistry Great they ever scene. had. I want to watch these two fuck. <laughs> Damn, that yeah. escalated wow. so quickly. Yeah, and that's through. the point of the scene. I'm like, so let's go. To that. Let's get I it. I want you guys to just like yeah. scar to scar. Let's see if it unlocks the gate, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it means. I do know what like it means. Like an uncharted yeah. puzzle. <laughs> 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 so anyways, that all happens. And, uh, you know, I'll always be chasing you kind of shit. Then he, you know, she's... I don't understand. I get... Okay, her memory's been wiped. She's working with a bad guy. The bad guy wanted her to kill. When I get the photo of me in the dude's lap, when the dude can explain everything about my body, is probably when I would be like, you know what? I'm going to roll with you. Yeah. Because you know a bit you, more about this that's stuff. That's true. Right? But there's another side of this. Uh, she's on the bad side, dealing with people that are totally fucking around with things. And there's a lot of like who's who and espionage and shit where it's like espionage. that could be faked so easily. Yeah. You know? That could be faked so easily. Yeah. Photoshop. Huh. Okay. But also she just doesn't know. she. And, and this is what I like. She doesn't know she likes him. This is like she's starting to fall in love with him in this. And it's it's nice. And he has a, he has a line where like. I don't know if it's here or before, but he's like, you don't give up on family even if they don't know you. Like, you don't give up. Mm-hmm. Even if and they give up on you. Even if they give up on you. It's nice, you know? Mm-hmm. So she takes off, and uh, Deckard Shaw rolls on up in his car, and he's like, oh, I'm all British and shit. And they have a scene yeah. here where it's a very British. And he's like, basically, just walk away. And Dom's like, I'll tell you what. I'll walk away if you give me Letty right now. And he's like, no fucking deal. Boom. Like, laser on Dom's chest. Yeah. And he's like, well, guess what? No, I didn't even. Boom. Laser on you. And it's like, whoa. Uh, so cool. And, and it's like out, stalemate, yeah. stalemate, governor. And Deckard Shaw gets in his car and drives away. And then The Rock walks over and he's like, I, I put a tracker on you, and you're lucky I fucking did that. And he's like, Oh, this is a tracker. And like, ah, uh, uh, then we're you know what's in your car, that, man. Yeah, exactly. Was, 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 every real racer knows mm-hmm. their car. Yeah, but I like that because it's obviously like indicative. Like I, I do trust you. I knew the tracker mm-hmm. was there. I we're worth. I needed you, bro. Also, I love. I want to point out that every time we go back to the the Rock, like where where Vin's gang is. Luda has added more monitors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just important. It's yeah. important to know. There's monitors everywhere yeah. the next time we come back. We also skipped over a fun scene where Luda and Rock went to get the cars oh, from the yeah. auction thing. Oh, and the auction guy was scene. a very bad British guy and just was very Super much racist. like, you can't afford this. Uh-huh. Just a prick. Yeah. Racist prick. But then and I then didn't just... quite understand the scene where he took his shirt off and pants off. It's oh, they, bought, they, they want to keep spending much money. They'll do anything yeah. to keep you spending, like yeah. keeping you happy. I so that that's his job as concierge. That's, that was what yeah. I got from it, but I just thought that was. Next cool. time you're oh, yeah, at a I fancy restaurant and the sommelier comes by and uh-huh. he gives you a bottle, be like, "Now take off your underwear and give them to me." And he's like, "Well, fuck, you okay. just bought a ninety dollars." I just love the water. rocks wink, you know. It's yeah. like, there's, it's, there's a couple of facts of the Furious and around this time they sure. get their cars. Um, I already did it. Don't you already did it. <laughs> 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 no, you went like this. <laughs> 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 well, it slowly ramps. It's okay. been ramping the entire uh, show. Uh, Han says that he likes the color of Dom's Camaro because it's the same color of the RX-7 that he later gets in Tokyo Drift. And Hobbs is referred to as three different Avengers in this movie. Mm-hmm. Man, the whole when he calls Captain America and Samoan. Samoan. Thor. Thor. That got a huge laugh in <laughs> that, that was amazing. House last night. Yeah. Um, I will say this though, like I, if I'm not mistaken, there was what a hundred million dollar take for the last job, right? They split 10 ways, something like that. So everyone walked away with roughly $10 million. Eight mm-hmm. ways? Eight ways. Everyone, so everyone walked around with a figure of $15 million then? I, I guess it was nine that ways. No, actually. they all had at least like $11 million. So yeah. you, you figure $11 million. He bought, he was like, I got this. And he's going to buy the cars. Each one of those cars, easily worth like, you figure half a million dollars maybe. On average of the cars, like some of those are really expensive. That okay, that okay, Daytona, right. right? Sure, but you think Luda's just been yeah. sitting there, letting like his interest? Dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm like, it seems like ATMs, maybe yeah. you would ask the government guy to buy these cars, unless you were to spend like a three quarters of what your net worth is mm. just to buy people cars. I mean, he's going to go in, it in a day are going to get destroyed by a fucking tank. <laughs> <laughs> they got a tank. So tough. That was a great. We're getting there. Yeah. So that's it. the thing, right? Now it's all done this way. So now way. They, get, they get back where they bring Letty to the group, right? Yeah, how did Letty leave? I forget. I don't remember. In the, the scene of the lasers? laser points, right? No, she, no, well, she, no, left, she, she left She before the lasers happened. No, she's still with them because she's with them on the tank. She yeah, still that's, that's where right. they go. So right. we've, we've, we've somehow figured out and surmised what the MacGuffin is, right? Exactly. The MacGuffin is they're trying the to build this thing oh, that... Wait, it's a really fucking dumb scene where they figure out where to go because they, they somehow figure out I think that the girl cop that's with uh, Hobbs oh, right. is like, this is their, sta- oh, no, this Gia. is their, uh, their parking, like, this is where they're hanging out. 
They're gone. Go there's him. nothing here. And Rock's like, there's, there's always nothing. something here. Gun is this fucking tan shit on the ground. <laughs> and then guess what? Oh, thank God. It's from only one of the, the four military installations in the entire right. fucking world. And there's only one in this hemisphere. Now, and it's NATO. Let's go. Man, I don't now, remember the that idea, at all. The idea behind <laughs> this. That's a dead. great pull, Kev. <laughs> that's a great pull. The idea what behind the MacGuffin, the thing that they're after, is that they're trying to build some sort of super thing that can take down an entire government for 24 hours. It's a dark bomb. A dark bomb. A dark bomb. Bam, bam. Right. <laughs> which, which I don't Dumb quite understand bomb. how it's supposed to work or where all the components are. But I Sad figured man. if I were the rock and I knew what they were trying to build, don't you think you'd know where those components were in well, the did. world? So why wouldn't you just know it's on a military base? Ahead of time. You know what I mean? Would you just be like, oh, they're probably after the final part of this thing, which is being housed. Duka, 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 luda. Fucking 800 monitors around him all the time. All just have red display for no reason. It's at the base. Anyway, they figured out it's at the base. And so, yeah, all right, let's go to the base. And they go to the base, and Rock's like, I want this tighter than fucking uh, asshole. And then we're all walking around and shut up the walls and do this and like batting the hatches and these like yelling stuff. And all the guys are just like, You think it would be a secure base? We're just taking charge from you, man. And then uh, while this is happening, it turns out, oh man, one of Shaw's dudes showed up and we caught him fucking with the wall system. And he's like, His base is already compromised. We can't store the thing here. Give me the thing. We're going to get it out of here. And they go to do that. And then back in the old dumb. Yeah, then then we go back to Toretto's game. And they're like, oh, they figured out. Oh, they were waiting for it to move. They won't hit the thing. They're gonna hit. The, they're gonna Smart. hit him on the road. Ah. And so we go back to the road, and now the thing's moving, and we don't know what it is, but it's moving, and it's in a giant truck or whatever, right? And everybody's driving, having a great time. And then guess what? Shaw and the, the goons show up. They're not having a good time. Mm-mm. They're there to take this fucking place down. And so they do pretty easily. They're fucking knocking cars off the bridge, this long-ass bridge, and people are dying and shit. The, uh, re- regular families are on this bridge, too, and they ain't <laughs> having a good time. You know what I mean? They They're were just trying to go to the beach time. or whatever. A lot They're, of casualties. A lot of casualties. A lot of casualties. A lot of people abandoning their cars and like running in the other direction. It's the right move. A lot of, lot of, lot of uh, irredeemable things that happen under Letty's watch on this. I'm just gonna let you know like what no well, she was no, like save it save it save it so then yeah they've already figured out the Toretto gang's like we are we're on it we're on the case now and so like uh the, the Shaw gang's already infiltrated the big old truck we don't know what they're getting inside of the truck and so we're we you remember that tensile strength cable that was also a really funny scene when they shot it by accident in between Back Dom and rock. Uh, rock yeah, yeah. That was awesome. uh, they shoot it right correct this time they come original as they say and then the truck hits it and you're like this truck fuck it's a tank a tank shoots out that's awesome settling again not and not again. I'm sure this was said a long time ago. I don't remember, but I do distinctly remember a kind of funny morning show where Nick Scarpino got shit from one Tim Gettys about the line. They got a tank and him being like, "Oh, it was in an old movie," and you were like, "No, it's in the new movie coming out because there's a tank and a trailer in a future movie." Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. It's a tank, and this is a t- tank, Dom, and it just runs over the and driver. They are just <laughs> laugh believe practical. Oh, oh yeah, I believe I don't, it. Yeah, look at the fucking tank. Look at the cars that thing fucking run down. Cars. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, and so it's like, cool. and this is what so, you're talking about, where Letty's like to Shaw, "Hey, bro, you don't need to be killing people." And Shaw's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, "It's a little weird because this is a little bit of a departure from this like almost smartly written character of Shaw, where he just becomes this like maniacal asshole for no reason. Like, what what part of your plan does this play into? Of like." Or you're just creating mayhem. If the plan was to get caught, why not? Like, why did you need to kill all these people? But to, to go back to my original point was like, they pull up to, before they get the tank. They pull up, they sandwich the car into into the bigger truck, and then they get up and they murk the two drivers. They just fucking murk them. Yeah. And Letty's like, I'm cool with this. I'm like, ah, got it. Well, they're Letty, bad guys. You're killing a lot of people. They're bad here. guys. I'm just saying. Uh, and they they're, they are killing good I'm people. I'm just saying. Everyone knows. Military. Everyone knows that when you get amnesia, your true colors come out. Okay. It's it's so many of these scenes are so cool and like really well thought out and like shit that just like the way they like hooked onto those cars, merged it and then made it like so a they could just bridge. walk over yeah, and kill. Cool. It was really was cool. cool. Yeah, really, yeah, really cool. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah at, this so, po- at this point, uh, Robin was like, I was watching it with Robin. She was like, well, this is a it's a tank. It's slow. Like, who gives a shit? Not I was like, well, tank. no. I was like, this, this isn't Nas. a World War II tank. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a modern ass tank, and they're faster. Like, and, uh, granted, they're not as Our fast as their vehicles. Fast. They probably go I mean, like 30, 40 miles an hour. No, I, I feel like I mean, they go maybe like, going 70. I feel like 50 or 60 is where they're at now, maybe. We could 100. Look it up. <laughs> Facts of the Furious. Uh, so they're pancaking cars. Everybody's running around. We need a new plan. It's all very funny. All good dialogue. Everything's awesome. I, and again, they get, and this is what I like. They give everyone something to do. Obviously, Luda, completely traumatized from the last time he got in a car, is like, yeah. I'm not driving a fucking car. Anymore. Exactly. I sits on the bridge that can look overlooks the entire World. eighty yeah. mile stretch of this thing, thing, so he can narrate the entire scene. Great. Although, Ta- to be fair, you could actually do that. You like, could. Like at the I'm place where we shot Love and Sex stuff, uh, the new upcoming season. 
when we were standing on the, the Sutro uh, fucking park or oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, you can see the you whole thing. Out, oh, straight yeah. down the Great mm -hmm. Highway, and you're like, I got the I whole mean, fucking again, thing. I, this is what I like. There's just enough characters in this Good to give them too. something fun to do. We lose Dom for a little bit here. I don't know where he is at, but Tyrese he is like, I got to try to stop this thing. Gets in, boy, front of the, he? gets in front of the fucking tank. Fucking like, terrifying. this is a terrible idea. I don't yeah. know why I did this. They're going to shoot at him, and he realizes they're going to shoot at him, so he breaks, and they shoot right in front of him. Really, really so cool. cool. And then for some reason has the electronic wince. Is it wince or winch? Winch. 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 In winch. the back of his car. I don't know when or how they installed that. I mean, he was playing with it. I think he just, is that what put, he just put it in it his there? car. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Climbs out, figures out, like, I'll, this thing's going to go underneath, so I'll attach the thing. And it's smart. Like, this shit... They actually give everyone something to do, so you don't feel like that that Tyrese is just this fucking random mm -hmm. side character for for comedic relief. And then Tej comes and not Tej, uh, Ty, uh, Brian, okay. Brian, and a dope ass Ford Escort comes and saves the day. So good. And believe it or fast, not, too furious reunion. Tanks can actually move at about twenty five miles per hour on flat terrain and up to forty five miles per hour on roads. Some tanks have even gone as fast as sixty to seventy miles per hour for short. Again, this is a time. tank with Nas. This is an advanced tank. Nas, 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 Nas. So yeah, then Brian's <laughs> trying to knock the thing over to act as an anchor. The car that the tank's dragging. Right. Finally gets it to go. Letty's outside because they were trying to get it off. Like, they get over, over it. Get on that thing. Get She's the, out there trying to do it, but they don't give a shit about her. They're gonna get rid of her. And so then Dom comes racing up. And Han and Giselle are doing stuff too on the motorcycle. They sure are. Hot. Oh yeah, there's a part where uh, there's a great part so where he saves her the again. guy's got her dead to rights, and then she just hangs off the fucking thing. And just oh yeah, it yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't care. And then Han like. Yeah, moves yeah, out awesome. of the way. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really good. Uh, yeah, so then Vin r r drives on over there, right? And then this awesome fucking scene, right? And it's my it's, favorite scene it's the in, moment. The fucking th in the whole series. This was the first time I've ever been in a theater where people the entire time were just kind of chilling. And when that happened, eruption of applause and just like cheering. <laughs> and he I was smashes like, this the car, is he jumps out of the car, she jumps, he grabs her, he turns his back and lands in a, in a windshield. He landed on a car? He's fine. <laughs> How did you know the car would be there? I did. I did. Wait, like, that's not a thing you want to land on, though. I know. Like, like, a car? You're going right for the Wait, yeah. Here's, here's Fuck, the thing. It looks so cool. Luckily, there was a car there. To break <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the thing. Like, I, I had a lot to say about the ridiculous scene at the end of Fast Five, where I was like, this is not believable. And I think for this one, it's easier for me to suspend disbelief because this feels earned mm -hmm. we have the characters building up to this they don't know each other and we finally see that dom is actually willing. like this is what pushes letty over dom's willing to give his life for her because he loves her so much and that's like you feel that in that moment is it ridiculous yes is it physically impossible yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Sure. yeah oh yeah he would have yeah. died they probably they would've would've died. here and they would have just fallen yeah. right science but, kept. but but with that moment where like and it's great the, the sound design's great the yep. fucking sound cuts out it's and quiet. they just Moment that just bam, bam, grabs it right, so and it great. just it feels it's dumb as shit. And I awesome. know it's dumb, and I know it doesn't make it's any sense. So cool. but it feels earned, mm -hmm. and, and it just it yeah. does what it needs to it's do. It's built the world. It's this all movie dumb built as shit. I love that it. world. Yeah, yeah. dumb as shit, and you're just like cool. Yeah. yeah, give me more dumb. It works. And so that's it. The, the tanks anchored. <laughs> pop dumb. the champagne, everybody. We've got to win. Dumb. It's over. Take the W, and they drag everybody back to the base or Interpol. I don't fucking know. And they all like they got Shaw in a containment unit downstairs. He looks like the fucking Joker. And we're like, we got it. It's over. Yeah. And they're all celebrating, having fun. They're talking to Letty upstairs. And then like they're talking to Letty upstairs. Mm -hmm. And this is a very important fact of the Furious here that might shock you. <laughs> Brian and Letty talk. Right. Yep. The only this is my time, fault. The only time they talk in the entire franchise. That doesn't one on surprise one or me. Like, really? That's that makes Any sense. Any dialogue between them at all? Wow. wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. interesting. Good. I mean, good scene though, right? Good yeah. scene. Because yeah. yeah. like, yeah. like everything that happened yeah. to you was my fault, and she's like, I don't I know what happened, but I know I myself. I might not remember. But I know but I no remember. one can force me into anything I do. Except for the except for the time they forced me to steal that tank like five minutes ago. And I didn't want to. <laughs> she wanted to. Did it. It. She wanted to. She had doubts. She didn't she understand. Wanted she didn't understand me Meanwhile, well, Rock kicks in the door. Uh, Toretto. I do. Shaw's here. And you want to listen to what he has to say. Weird. They're just walking this guy around, right? And like just letting him fuck everybody. But no big deal. And they're like, what do you got to say, Sean? He's like, I told you from the beginning, motherfuckers. I would bring this to your house. And I would do all this stuff. And they get this cool like flashback or, you know, what's been happening. And it was fucking, they were invading the house for Brian's stupid kid, Jack, and uh, Elena was there. And like, hey, Jack, where's your problem with Jack? He's yeah, the next future fast man. Stop gonna dressing get, him like an idiot. We're going to get a Jack O'Connor movie at one point. And Good. it's going to be fucking awesome. Jack and Brian. It's going to so, be Jack and Dom's kid. Mia Dom and Letty's gave kid, Jack, ja gave uh, Jack to <laughs> Ellie, Elena, and she ran off. And then Mia just let herself get taken. And then uh, and like call call Mia. And they call Mia, and, and Brian's like, Mia? And she's like, Brian! He's like, ah, he just puts the phone down, doesn't even listen. Ah, 
I just like all mad, and they're like, ah, oh, fuck. And then Shaw's like, here's the deal. You let me go with the chip, and everybody, everything's fine. And if not, you fuck you and your family. I'm gonna kill him. And the NATO guy or whoever is just like, it's no. millions of lives versus one. Like yeah. this is an literally idiot. a whole country of lives mm. versus. The, I'm not letting. I can't let you out of this place. Yeah. And you think the Rock would be like, oh god, I can't. He's argue making with a lot of logic. sense. He's making a lot of sense. The Rock takes his giant gun and points at his head. He's like, no, everything, everything's changed. Everything's changed. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. Has it? Have your men lower their weapons. Yeah. The men will lower their weapons. Because we killed a lot of people to get to this point. Yeah. A lot of people. And they're like, all right, let it go. Yeah, let it go. And let him go. And like, oh, you fuck. And so Shaw's driving away, and he's like, and he calls his his people to be like, you fucking kill her anyway. And guess what? Everything's everything's jammed. He goes like this. You coming, babe? Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, And it's that rack focus from Letty to Gina Carano. She's like, and you're like, like, of course. This is an unnecessary twist. And they hold hands. (laughs) But the thing was this. It wasn't, right? Because I was was wondering, I'm like, how did they get these fucking, like, these FBI dossiers of them at the beginning. Mm-hmm. How are they always one step ahead of them? Okay. It makes That's sense. Great. It makes a it lot of a really sense. cool moment. They didn't do a good point of like nailing it home that there's a mole, but I, but you look back now and you're like, oh, why did she let that arm bar go? Because she's working mm-hmm. with Letty. You <laughs> see what I'm saying? Wow. You it was really good. Saying? It was a really good turn. We got a good yeah. guess out of the audience last night. I love the audience's Portillo and Jen. And Lucy. Oh, and Lucy. So we had we had a lot. There was a lot going on in the house. Portillo definitely gasped at the entire time. <laughs> he's just having breathing problems. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a little wheezy right now. Uh, uh, they walk away. They drive. Tez jams all signals. And got, guess what? They're not going to get get out to radio anything, which would be like he, cool on the one hand, but also like when, I'd be worried that there would be a call. Like if you don't hear from me in 15 minutes, fucking kill her. No, yeah. but he did call. Pee. He called and spoke to her right before Tez says that. that it, where he was like, we don't need her anymore. No? He I mean, he's not? talking to somebody in the car. Where they're like, what do we do about Mia? And he's like, we don't need her anymore. And he goes to call him. Oh, I, th- I thought he was. I thought he was. No, no, no. He call. didn't have AirPods in. He was just talking to somebody else in the car. Yeah. I don't and know so- why I didn't retain this movie like I did Fast Five. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on. It's a on. really good movie. Yeah. It has some beautiful moments that like. And so they're, now everybody's just going to chase down Shaw or whatever. And they, they're driving the, the, the 38 mile whatever fucking landing strip. And like driving. And they're like, oh, we're going to get him. And Shaw looks at her and he's like, eh. And then the fucking giant uh, cargo plane comes in and it lands. Mia's and, in the plane too, which I thought yeah. was weird. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Me too. And so, yeah, they land. And then it's like Mia's in the plane. And they got to get on the plane. So Shaw drives his car onto the plane. And then there's just a lot happening. Dude, here. and here's the thing, like, this entire sequence, like, stupid long runway aside, is perfectly choreographed so to the minute good. on multiple fronts going on, where it's amazing action fighting, amazing action with Driving. vehicles, amazing action using NOS fucking grappling guns, yes. every one of the teams doing something cool, and then there's emotional payoff moments, so good. multiple ones, yeah. and there's epic moments that it keeps building, keeps building, keeps building, up to the point that, getting a little ahead, when he busts out of the front of it, it, it's just like... Yeah. It felt like a perfect paced action scene. Mass Effect 1. It's so good. Can we talk about Not that like scene really quick where he busts out? Yeah. Out of order. It's interesting that he busts out in like such a cool epic, like, mm-hmm. yeah, he fucking did it. And then it's like, oh no. But see, I <laughs> he's, like that. he's rolling. Is he dead? I don't, I don't like know. That. We'll see. I but thought I, that broke. I like the it build up. just because I feel like it was a, one of the first examples of them playing with our expectations of knowing what happens in the trailers. Because mm-hmm. that was the scene yeah. from the trailer. Got it. And so. Seeing him then crash after you're like, oh shit. Well, years from like seeing the trailer, it is one of those things where like I just felt like that broke the momentum. What I, I what I liked about it, right, was the idea that I've done it. I'm Superman. I've I've achieved the goal. It, but it's like when a racer finishes the race and then like their legs give out and fall down. Like he, he for me, mm. it was this weird mashup of I know this sounds weird, but man and car, right? Of like I've done it. I've accomplished the thing. And poof, 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 like it's mm. the mission is accomplished. Right, I've done right, the right. thing. I've protected it's my metaphor. family. Exactly. Mission yeah. accomplished. George W. Bush. But yeah, it's just it's just great because like once they him. get into the we cargo plane him. and start going, it's like once the fight scenes start happening, and then you get the moment that we've been waiting for. It feels like our entire lives, but it's only the been one movie. Butt. We already talked about that. of no. the Rock and Vin Diesel Teaming fighting up. together, yeah. like yeah. switching so off partners cool. and stuff. Okay. It was awesome. It was really really cool. And so yeah. <laughs> Really good stuff. Shit, she's getting shot. The plane's got like seven cars hanging from it, like mm. a Christmas tree taking off. Uh, they're all slamming into each other. It's all cool. Uh, fucking Giselle's death. Heartbreaking. I mean, that's oh, the thing, my God. That whole scene, it's like as it's all happening. Like yeah. I've seen this movie so many times now, but it gets me every yep. damn it, it, It's so it, fucking it gets good. Me. Han's reaction is great. Yeah. The only criticism I have of the scene is that she gives her life to shoot the guy. But it doesn't kill him. Doesn't kill him. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't like, and I, that. I hate that. I fucking hate that because it it robbed us of an actual like great moment 
where he sees her falling off. If we'd have seen a shot where that bullet went right through his fucking head yeah. and the guy fell off and, and all we had left was just Han Fall by himself, yeah. I think that would have been but really way that? more powerful. Was that the un, like fucking the guy that was fighting? I don't know, but I mean, it might have been the 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 unstoppable fighting machine, right? But no? either way, I'm just I'm just, he just punches the guy a lot, and then we don't yeah. really get a resolution. Yeah, like, you're like, let's okay. rewrite. Let's, Han chucks him yeah, into the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. which is a great scene. Let's rewrite it right here. Bullet through the head, but Han's still pissed, and he's punching the dude in dead the head. Body. Yeah. He's and the guy's yeah, dead, yeah. but just it's like you see the rage. He just you know? stomps the guy's head like uh, Ryan Gosling and fucking Drive. He just stomps him into fucking ground into mush. Yeah, heartbreaking scene, man. It really really bummed me out. And then yes, again at the end, Han's reaction. Oh, is, man. Yeah. It's like watching your dad cry for the first time. And when, it was like, that thing that really is. I appreciated about it, like, you know, watching it last night, you know, everybody's waiting for Dom. And when he comes out, everybody celebrates that. Or most people celebrate it. And, and, and like, I think it was Jen who was just like, what about Giselle? What? And I'm like, no, this is actually really well done and actually kind of an honest moment of like, hey, we all did it. And then Mia gets to be like, hey, wait, yeah. where's Giselle? And go over there. And like, and it, it doesn't, it hasn't echoed to everybody yet, right? They yeah, are still over here celebrating someone. one part, not realizing. I love that she asked part. several times and he never answers. Like, yeah, 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 oh, it just yeah. breaks my heart. Yeah. 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 Breaks my heart. The, yeah. the, the scene itself is so well done, too, because it's one of those things that's like, you see it about to happen, you know what's going to happen. And then she let, let's go. Pulls the gun out and it's just such a badass. Yeah. And yeah. It, and you don't see her hit. It just she just disappears. Yeah, it's just gone and into the into design. the black. Yeah, great. Yeah. They did she could a still be a good job there. It is one of the, it is it is one of those things where, and this is a minor criticism, but we have seen people survive worse than falling off a plane that's going. That was like Jen's other comment. Somebody Shaw, should drive back and look. And just see if she's alive. Yeah. She might have amnesia. Who well, knows? <laughs> we don't know. Shaw survives that fall. It's true. Yeah. yeah. At Wait. The end, whoa. We don't know that. What we're come on. Wait, what? Which one? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keep going. I, anyway, oh, I actually anyway. didn't know that. Christ. <laughs> anyway, so... That the, really is fucked up, then. <laughs> the tank busts through the plane, and then Vin Diesel headbutts through the, through the car or whatever, yeah. and he just, like, flies out of the car <laughs> like a fucking dolphin breaching the yep. ocean. Yep. Beautiful. The flying head by the ocean. <laughs> was, the the, fly was the stupidest thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. It looks so cool. It, it looks looks so dumb. In the dumbest way. He just I looked, thought he was going to do a Superman like punch. Luigi where, like, jumps up yeah. punch, but he just, yeah. his, his, his arm just went behind his back, and he just dolphined it a little bit. It's a fucking weird thing. And so then, Rock's there, Vin's alive, he walks over, gives him all oh, this for this thing. Yeah, well, name me price, Toretto. And he said, Yeah, whatever. And, it was like, and he's like, And then and it's Luder or Tyrese. Like, what? And then guess what? We're, there it is, the original house. With the song. Yeah, exactly. Song and it's, playing, it's the address. The and in the back, everybody's barbecuing back there. I I, everybody's having a great time. I love this. The fucking kids there dressed like a moron. No, he's working <laughs> it. They're going to build a car. I like this because, I mean, the, the, the main sort of like B conflict of this movie is that they have everything, but they don't have their freedom. Right? Right. They can't go home. They have their family, but they can't go home. And finally, they get to go home in this. And I think that's really, really cool. And it's and it's it's not they don't beat you over the head with him being a father. Him, but they do have that one poignant scene where he's like, "Why does like when they're in Brazil?" And he's like, "We have everything, but why does it feel so like mm, empty? Yeah. Like yeah, why yeah, do we yeah. feel?" And it's because we can't go home. We can't be. It doesn't home feel with right, family right. together. It doesn't feel right. right. Every line of dialogue and in that last little epilogue bit, I love so much because then when you get the the, you, the shot of the house, you hear the music, you see all their supercars, yeah, like parked yeah. around, like, Lambo like, parked out front. It's and then, great. Then you go in and then, like you see them having the barbecue, and it's like I just feel that there was so much character interactions. Oh yeah, totally. Enjoyed. The Tyrese rock stuff and Luda, all that stuff was fucking fun. great. Han. Tyrese, Tyrese Lulu, Lulu, and be yeah. like, so you're in Tokyo? He's like, I, got, I really feel like I have to. Do, do you think that scene where he, where they had the back and forth where he's like, your big ass forehead? Because Luda spits. Oh, that, like, that was, that's that's that was a real, real scene. In, in, that's in the re- trivia, that, that's was a real it? scene. Oh my God, because yeah. you could tell that he, he got him with that. It's so funny. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> you can't fuck with The Rock, man. He's a professional <laughs> shit talker. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> God, it's so good. And so yeah, uh, Michelle Rodriguez there. He's like, does it bring back any memories? She's like, no, but it feels like home. It's like, yeah. It's nice. And then Tyrese comes. I got a family too. And you're like, cool, bye. And she's back as a cop. <laughs> yeah, like, I guess. Like, they just let her back in. Like, yeah. oh, this is a little awkward. Right. Right. I, I, she's on Hobbs teams now. Team yeah, now, I think, right? I think yeah. she's going to be. They're taking volunteers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Whoever wants to Everybody go. Everybody keeps dying. Yeah. Yeah. They're returning with Hobbs, so they got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> do a background check. Uh, yeah, Tyrese takes a chip, chip, and then he starts doing the prayer, because mm-hmm. he says the grace, and it's very sweet, and everybody they've lost, and yada, yada, yada. Oh, and then, boom, credits, looting music. Looting, here, I drive the car. Plays for a little bit, and then, boom. It just uh, fucking says this. It. This killed this. When I Tokyo. saw this in theaters, I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" Breaks, gas. It whoa. It was your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Gas yeah. was yeah. in the theater. Yeah. Of like, holy shit, holy shit. And we all thought 
that he was going to somehow survive. I thought that. he was going to live. No. No. Yeah, no. Not only does Han not survive his death, it is revealed that there was another car, car that, that knew he was going to be there. T boned him, killed him, and it was Jason Statham, Jason. a new fucking bad guy coming uh, out. Dominic yeah. Toretto, you don't know me, but, but you're, you're about, about to. to. But you're about Boom, to. the explosion of Han. What? I really love when he tossed the cross in front down there. You know what I mean? Was there where did he get the ever a better post credit scene? He gave any history of oh. anything? I don't think so. No, that this was is great. unbelievably ridiculous, and it sets up so much. Here, what? I mean, I'm not prepared to answer that question, but I have Give to imagine one shot. of the MCU after credits Honestly, is better than this. I don't know. This retconned him in and That's made him the saying. worst fucking. It was. I don't get me wrong. It was an he awesome retcon. It was an awesome thing. Favorite boy. Dominic Toretto. You, you don't like Han? Don 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 I like Han fine. I don't have the erection for him. You guys do. You guys are so Statham's in love the best. with Han. Yeah, yeah, because he was fucking a great, cool. Oh, I thought you meant Statham. He just eats a lot. No, yeah, Statham's he's really cool, fantastic. Man. Just like me. He does. Kevin, Fair. Kevin's been staring at you that future youth around. He's so mad about it. He's so cool. You know who isn't cool, though? That stupid little fucking baby with the dumb clothes. Oh, Jim. Okay. I wear a body. It's well, blue sometimes. It's white other times. Can't wait for you to have a child. Can't wait and for you I, to have a child. I swear to God, that kid's going to be dressed to fucking impress every time. It's going to be dressed like a Ghostbuster every time. The, the what else is going to be there? dressed like a Ghostbuster every sometimes time. Sometimes a Slimer, sometimes a Stay Puft. Here's what I'm going to say about this. Before the credit scene, mm-hmm. this movie, I think, I, I, I love this movie. I think if the, if the the entire series minus credit scene were to stop here, mm-hmm. I would have been like, that is a fucking 100%, awesome 100%. ending. 100%. Awesome ending to the sixth movie, like, Sex trilogy, six trilogy, Hep- amazing movie. Hep- no, that's nine. That's nine. awesome ending to this, right? The fact that we keep, get to go on to me, anything past this is just extra icing on the cake. Yeah, no, that's that's so real. It's because Han died, and we don't want to live in a world without. Well, Han. I'm still, I still hold he that gave both Han and Giselle are alive. So the series could go. I hope. I hope so I live much. in a world where he, he gets blown out and had just he's had amnesia for the What's last. What's cool to think so about, right? You, you, you brought know? it up. What's cool to think about is where we are now. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, really sad to think about is where we are now. If uh, Gal hadn't g- become Wonder Woman, I bet you'd actually have a pretty good shot at a, yeah, a Han uh, Giselle movie. Oh, I still think there I still is think a good there's shot. Gonna get, I think no, we're gonna get, maybe not I, Han Giselle, but the, I'm gonna the female pitch you, spinoff that's happening. I'm going to pitch you this, though. What you if we got that, that uh, movie that so. led up to them sitting in that yeah. uh, that cafe in Shanghai? God, that I watched the shit out of that. It just starts there. Like, we got to go back scene, to the States. All of their scenes together just made me so happy. They got good chemistry. Except for that last one. What's that? You mean ends there? Well, if we had a if we had a Han Giselle adventure that ends at that yeah, yeah, right. oh, at yeah. that scene and then and then it ends with the with the authorities coming up and like throwing her the phone and I then love it's like man. we got to go to fucking cool. London or wherever. I'm in. Yeah. Cool. So now, as of uh, this movie, we're caught up chronologically of the the series so far, where the last scene we've seen, the last scene chronologically is uh, Statham. Vin Diesel. I'm Jason Statham. rolling up next to fucking Tokyo Drift Boy. Yeah. For the race. Tokyo Drift Boy. Yeah. Sean Boswell. That's his name. Uh, it's time for Haiku in Review. If you are a Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny member at the Bras membership or above, you can submit your rev- reviews in Haiku form. Seven syllables in the middle. You need five for the first or last line. If you're not poetic, no need to fret it. Haikus don't need to rhyme. Haiku in Review. Haiku in Review. Everybody! Yeah, stop. All right. First <laughs> off, uh, Trevor Stark. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Trevor Stark, he writes in, that long-ass runway, so many miles of heartbreak. Rest in peace, Giselle. That's Big ups. That's right beautiful. There. Good job. Big Good ups. job for that one. Well done. Uh, Vitz Patel says, it's London, baby. Oi, governor. Letty's back. Dom's flying headbutt. <laughs> um, it was so dumb. An audible laugh it for me. It was so good. I had to rewind it. It's like he forgot what the choreography was going to be, and then we're like, no, nah, you know, we got to move on. <laughs> we got so many other things to shoot in this. Oh, my God. This one's really good, too. Suburbanite Slob. Han falls for Giselle. Dom oh. and Letty reunite. Giselle falls for Han. No. Oh, no. Oh, too real. Oh, too real. Oh, too real. Oh, Come on. Oh, that, that would be the winner like, of this of all of wow. them. That's great. That's uh, really good. That's really, really good. <laughs> James Davis, this is not so much a review, but I like it. What if in Fast 9, after they go to space, half turn to dust? <laughs> okay. Because okay. Um, they're in the Marvel Universe? Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. That'd be a great trend. If they're just doing something in movies. Just, yeah. uh, Matt Rohrbeck says, these stunts are crazy. That runway's hella long. Brother Shaw killed Han. I like that you got some rhymes in there. They don't um, need to rhyme, though. But we like that you're doing it. That's that extra effort. You're getting more points. Wow. 
That's it. Love you guys. All right, now it's time for Ragu Ragu. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rag Guys Talk Bad Guys, the podcast within a podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the glue, Big Kev Dog. Over there, the Hispanic heartthrob, Andy Cortez. So you don't know me, but you're about to. If you didn't know, Ragu Bagu is us ranking all the villains of the Fast and the Furious universe. Currently, our list stands at number one, the Reyes slash Toretto gang. Number two, Braga. Number three, DK. Number four, Johnny Tran. Number eight, Carter. Johnny Tran, also in Silver Linings Playbook. Really? <laughs> Where do we want to put... Deckard Shaw. Number one. I think number one. No yeah. one's asking the yeah. audience. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to support us on Patreon.com slash kind of funny? Yeah, he's number one. Number I do want to say he did lose some points when he went psycho on the road and yeah, started. Let him have a little bit of fun. Can you just, you're not on this podcast. <laughs> you can tweet at us, though, at yeah. Ragubagu Vids on Twitter. And if you Venmo Andy $69, you can put up a tweet from the yeah. Ragubagu Vids. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like, that's not right. I mean, there's no more Patreon tiers, so we had to do okay, something. Okay, yeah, yeah, you can, um, I, I'll, I'll, you can You can Venmo me. And me, too. No, just me. Game over, Greg. You can, we'll split it. I'll, I mean, I'll give you something. Nine thirty-four ways. fifty to me, thirty-four fifty to you. I'm, okay, nice. Haku in Ragu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's time to rank the Fast and Furious universe. The current rankings are as follows. Number one, Fast Five. Number two, Fast and Furious Four. Number three, Tokyo Drift. And number four, The Fast and the Furious. Number five, Too Fast, Too, too Furious. I put this at number one. This is number one for me. Because oh, yeah. I feel like it's such a solid movie. It really fulfills what I look for in Fast and Furious movies, which is fan service, great action, great dumb character dynamics. It's funny. The set pieces are huge. There's multiple set pieces that are impressive. The post credit scene is, like I said, my favorite Ridiculous. of all time. Um, and this is the most Han we get that's not Tokyo Drift and Giselle as well. Yeah, to me, this has, I, I love this. I think it's got everything that I want. It's got heart. It's got, you know, it's earned moments. And it's got wow moments that actually wow you, wow. right? There's at least three moments in this where you're like, what wow. the fuck? The tank, him coming out of the nose of the thing, uh, him saving uh, Letty. Those are all moments where you you actually feel like, Oh, a little stressed out, and then boom, you get that payoff, that emotional wow. payoff. Oh, like. you know why I said Mass Effect 1? Because Vin Diesel walking through the smoke at the very, very end, is it like pretty much exactly how Mass Effect 1 ends? Like, they're like, it's looking, it's like the camera's panning, like, is he there? Is he gonna? And then out through the smoke, and you're like, it's oh shit, what a great thing. moment. Yeah. Here's what moment. I'm gonna say I agree with everything you guys have said. Mm -hmm. I think personally, I like Fast Five more. Me too. Because I like, and mm. stick with me. I just like the origin story of the group and the way they all came together. And it was more, even, I know we talked about it, mm -hmm. like there was more them just talking and maybe mm -hmm. other relationship stuff. I guess that's, I think, something I've been. There's more. Uh, in terms of like them building who they all are together, uh, yeah. as so together. Many different yeah. You get it here for sure. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. what I mean? Well, I think that like they did such a good job in building five, off of that five. Six was yeah. more payoff. 100% yeah. as well. That's my thing. Is I'm not arguing. This yeah, is number yeah. one. This is the best movie. I just Something I've noticed in it, and you're really good at it. You always talk about the best action scenes. Action scenes for sure are where I just zone out. Where oh, I, I can never out, tell dude. you who does what or what because I just don't care. That's why I'm not drawn to movies like that. And like the, and I, and For me, them talking is what I'm really into. Why, and that's why I think I have a softer spot for five. But again, I, I was thinking about this in the car ride over today. It's just like I feel like we're... It's just similar to when I'm always like, well, Uncharted, I think Absolutely. Uncharted 2 is better than 1 and 3. And like, because they mm -hmm. keep adding to each other narratively mm -hmm. and story wise. And I already have a connection for it. Yeah, I think I remember, like, I mean, as you were recapping it, it happened in the show where I was like, I don't really remember this movie a whole lot. Like, I still know that I enjoyed it. I still know that on any given <laughs> you're, you're, day. You're, you're like Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> How long ago did you watch it? Saturday. Yeah, dude, you might have a problem. Like that's really on, soon. On any we given stopped working in like fourteen days. So. <laughs> on any given day, it could be number one. But I still do think I enjoyed Fast Five for all the reasons that you yeah. just mentioned. I just like the characters building and talking and. See, um, but I refuse to fight. I'm not saying that. I just think that was better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Same yeah. here. You know? Yeah. I I really love what you're saying about the five having that moment where it brings the team together and it's like when it's like we need a team and then it has the the shots of all of them. Yeah. And then when they right. first come in and like the salute me familiar speech and all that like that stuff is. I feel like unrivaled. Like sure. You can't really beat that. But then the but, house here, the action here. But my problem the with yeah. that is it came halfway through the movie, if not later. Mm. Whereas mm. this 
it's a medium the entire act. But we, we also that had scene, that scene. But that scene yeah. is, I think, better because it is just payoffs where it's not just seeing Tyrese. It's Tyrese being Tyrese in a plane. Yeah, yeah It's yeah, not yeah. just seeing it's Han. It's Tyrese, bitch, It's seeing right? Han and Giselle yeah. interacting together. You know what I mean? Yep, and it's yeah. like, I yep. just think yeah. overall this movie is a hell of a lot more tighter. It's clever. Agreed. I think, Agreed. I think it's a lot more creative than Five. And I think, to your point, like, yes, I, I like the action sequences in all these movies. There's such a thin line of them being boring or them being actually like exciting, and that basically has to do with like whether or not there are stakes to these things. And I feel like just in six, you care about what happens to these characters. Mm -hmm. Whereas in five, I just found myself kind of my, my brain was just meandering a little bit. I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? What what is with the safe? Who cares? I don't know. I feel like everything in this one, this is the pinnacle of what the Fast and the Furious franchise can be, and I think they nailed it most of the time. Yeah, I, I still think about the rock handshake uh, or the, the rock and Vin Diesel yeah. picture. Like that moment still hypes me up. And again, they could interchange on any given yep. day. I do love that we didn't even mention this on the Fast Five review and uh like you know, Vince dying, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like, we forgot about that completely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vince, <laughs> a Vin, very poignant moment. Vince dying yeah, is but, like their friend dying, yeah. right? And then the rock had all of their friends die, and th that was what brought them together. And I just liked I liked seeing the friendship sort of start there, even though they're kind of like still like enemies, but not really. They're like, We're in this right now together. Yep. Yeah, We're the, gonna go take this fucker down. I don't know. See, my, my thing is just as a as a Contrary to that argument, the Vince dying thing was forgettable because there's so many different characters in Fast Five that they don't, you kind of lose track of what's going on. And you just like, Vince was not well set up. And the, when he does that, you're kind of like, oh, good, that guy's a fucking putz. Like, I just didn't care. That was it. Yeah. Was a good scene. Though, yeah, give he's giving him the money. But he's in the truck and he's like, "I named my kid after it you." Didn't feel like I should. You're like, his name Nico. Nico, you fucking weirdo. And he's like, "Oh, Dominic." Yeah. Oh, wow. it's cool. Either way. Dom. Yeah, I don't want to keep repeating Dom. Fast Five. Um, um, great movie. All right. So, who thinks it's better than Fast and Furious Four? Raise your hand. Who think everyone raises their hand? Who thinks it's better than Fast Five? Raise your hand. Everyone except Andy raises their hand. The new ranking of the Fast and Furious <clears throat> is number one, Fast and Furious 6. Number two, Fast 5. Number three, Fast and Furious 4. Number four, Tokyo Drift. Number five, the Fast and Furious. And number six, Too Fast, Too Furious. Two, two more fast movies. movies. Oh, man. Wow. Two, two more, more movies. movies. And then two more and then Hobbs Hobbs and Coming up, baby. I totally forgot there was Fast 8. Uh, you should watch Internet Explorers to find out. Okay. Yeah. Isn't it Shouldn't like I watch Screencast? <laughs> Uh, the, every week there's no, a new that's story on Internet Explorers that we'd say how many days it is till oh, the show. Wow. I, I didn't realize that didn't it, it wasn't at the <laughs> end of this. I'm on that show. I forgot we do that. I didn't realize <laughs> it wasn't at the end. I, like I thought we were three <laughs> weeks away from watching it. Oh yeah, no, no, no. And no, like no. every Internet Explorers, I remember that we're not, and it breaks I, my heart. You guys this lead, this after Fast and Furious, it leads right into Captain Marvel, which will be MCU movie. Wow. What's after that? We're having conversations. Let us know if you have any suggestions. Tweet at me at Tim Gettys. I'd love to know. Corey Heyman review. Oh, that'd be amazing. Lost Boys. Lucas. I, I, by the way, yeah, that's right. Lucas. this is me, of course. Totally forgot there was a, the Fate of the Furious. Totally forgot that was me. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, like, we only got one yeah. more left. And then I remember, I, then I had this weird premonition of Charlize Theron with dreadlocks, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> was that a real movie? Is that a real thing? <laughs> I've still never seen that. Well, oh, shit. You're in this is going to be the first I've, time I've we do once. our I'm interview. I'm to see it again. Yeah. We yeah. haven't seen it since we all went. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, until next week, drive safe. Thank you. Buckle up. <laughs>